Hi. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hey there. Yeah, yes. I'm not late. Y'all just are bad at telling time. It's actually yeah, one, it's two, time. so it's fine. Uh, I'm here with a bunch of people. I'm here with Vinny. I'm with uh, Great Zot and Mike and Gear and myself. I'm also here. That's how it works. Um, and we're going to do some uh, card games and board games and stuff. I'm not late. You're wrong. Uh, we're playing Fun Deployed first. Uh, Mike wasn't uh, around for the rules, and I'm just going to explain them again, because y'all need to know the rules, too. Um, I am sleep-deprived, so if I'm an asshole, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're, I, I guess we should say, like, right <laughs> off the bat, we're raising money for uh, drug relief uh, Ukraine. Uh, Mike, you have a good spiel for this, yeah? Wait, wait, I wasn't paying attention. What? Uh, what are we doing this? <laughs> no, I know. No, I know. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, we're raising money for uh, a charity called Direct Relief. They're supplying just just food and medical supplies to people fleeing the conflict zone in Ukraine. Uh, it's again, it's humanitarian aid. It's not lethal aid. We've raised well, uh, well over. Last time I checked, it was like twenty three thousand. Uh, where are we up to? It says twenty four thousand, I think. Twenty four k, which is crazy. Yeah, uh, uh, that's been uh, a couple over a couple weeks. But yeah. you know, cresting uh, in the past couple of days was we're doing this uh, this big, I guess, like final push the last three days of the month, mm -hmm. uh, including tomorrow if you're not ready to donate. But this is a great cause. Again, you can Google Direct Relief and see what they do. It's for again just food and medical supplies no guns no bombs you're not supporting a war if you donate to this you're just helping people who are civilians you're helping civilians it's, it's a great cause and guys thank you for bringing us this far and um however much further you bring us with this thank you in in advance and um i'm sure the people who are having their lives impacted by this also appreciate it deeply so thank you guys yeah. And then reading, re, so reading for the chat, uh, we were talking about Mike's mic volume, Mike's mic volume. I, I think chat is saying I I, I messed do, with it some while some... he was uh, oh, okay. Uh, Understood. It's not that he's loud; it's he's peaking because Discord sucks. Um, <laughs> Mike is peaking. Uh, it, it just yeah, you, 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 a little crunchy on the ends, but uh, that's just Discord problems. Uh, yeah. again, if you don't have the the dosh to donate, like don't don't put yourself out. Like obviously, this is you know we're doing what we can to make the world a better place. So if you're just if you can just like tell people about the stream, if you guys can drop by and make it so that way we have more viewers, so that way people go, hey, what's this? And then then they join and then they have dosh and they can donate. That's cool too. Um, so so don't feel bad if you can't donate. Uh, and there's Limes with the raid. Thank you for the limes. raid, Limes. Hey, Limes. How you doing? Very nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, who was that? That's weird. God, Discord's I wonder weird, man. Who, I wonder who that sounds exactly like. Let me think. Um, <laughs> I wonder who that was, right? I don't know. No, that's Ooh. weird, yeah. Yeah, a uh, quick note, Rev. When when yeah. adjusting to volume for vo uh, volume and, uh -huh. and audio stuff, do not listen to Matt Mellon because he's like he's like deaf or something. I don't know. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. okay. No, I was I was I was trying to just like generally do it while you were talking. Yeah, he's just he's he's like well. he, he, that guy's like cracked out. Like he's not don't don't like don't. Listen <laughs> okay. <him>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to balance you off of everyone else. Yeah. Uh, no thanks. Named and shamed. Okay, so this is fun and played. Uh, it's basically like Saint Coil. Uh, so we go in rounds to decide like who's the uh, the the person who's like trying to get someone for a job. Um, they have a card. Boop. So this time it would be a TSA agent. Let's say I'm the guy hiring. Um, you get four cards. Uh, so I'm just gonna put four out in the center. Let's say this is your hand, uh, and you use all of the cards in your hand, but um uh, there's gonna also be 10 in the center that you can switch out before we get to the phase where we switch them out and you can switch out as many as you want um let's just move what, what's happening here i i'm just Rolling giving game. an example to to stream oh so i know it's okay. going on yeah I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need you to uh i'm gonna need you to start over again because i was uh tabbed out okay good that's that's normal. No, I'm actually, I'm actually not joking this time because I wanted to. I wanted to like retweet you and, and Oh, okay, and that's fair enough. Discord and everything. So yeah. like, 
you know. Ta- he tabbed out his attention span. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's basically like snake oil where, you know, one person is the person who's doing the thing. So, like, let's say this time I'm the, the guy hiring and I'm hiring for a TSA agent, right? And your okay. hand is these four cards, okay? And you, uh, oh, God, it's just wanting to stack them. Okay, you're going so to pick, pick one, basically. No, you pick all of them. But oh. you can switch out your cards uh, with the ones in the center but everyone else is doing the same thing at the same time. Everyone just goes, okay, I'm ready now. And once everyone is ready, then we go to the person to my left and go around in a circle. And then I decide who gets the job based on that. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so we're all taking cards out of the middle, like simultaneously. Like if I see so one, I want somebody to replace else. a card. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So I think it's better to think of these cards as bullet points on your resume. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. And your composite resume is the, 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 the combination of the four cards in which you choose to have in your hand, whether you grab them from the draw pile or otherwise. Right. And I, I'm only talking on this as, you know, I have slight expertise in resume writing and hiring. So I'll, I'll try to be like some HR expertise and be like, I don't know if this is good on the resume. I don't know if clammy hands is good for the resume. Yeah, it's most of these are bad. Um, that's you, you get like anti traits basically. Yeah, right. and you're gonna have to try and convince us that that's good. <laughs> that's, that's really fun. Okay, all right. Qu- quick question. Uh, yes, my um my hand uh-huh. is like not showing at the bottom of my screen. Is there a button that you can press? There is F. Oh, the very no no. no. I mean, you know how like when center. you get it into your hand, like are do you guys have the cards in your hand or yeah. is it just on your? It's He's down at the bottom, about... but it's also like, um, is it the HUD is just, yeah, I mean. I don't have them on my HUD. Is okay. there a button that you can um, press to get them back? Here, I'm going to change HUD your skulls. color and then I'm going to um, change you back. See if that fixes it. Does that work? Um, no, I still don't have it. Okay. Why would that, why, why would that have worked? I don't know, man. <laughs> Shut I might up. have pressed something. I might have pressed something before by accident. Because now it's, it's just the cards are gone. Like when I flip these over, you guys can see them, right? I cannot no. see them now. No, I don't can't. see shit. No. Okay. Um, let me check settings. Sorry, everybody. Hang on. You're good. Um, F11. Yeah, that makes some of the HUD go away, but not the part that he he's trying to get this down here. Oh, uh, hand view. Yeah, I got it now. It's weird. It was in the options. I don't know how I disabled that, but I'm good now. Uh, here. Uh, one, two, three. It's H, by the four, way. Uh, and then uh. Yeah, you just five. pressed every button on the keyboard until one worked. Is it? <laughs> no, I went into the menu, but yeah. Also, can you guys hear? There's there's a lot of work going on right now. Can you hear the, the pipes? No. Okay. Now, did you are you are you messing with us? Because it didn't make a pipe sound until you said the word pipes. He's messing. Okay, he's messing with us. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I made a bag here. It's got one king in it and four pawns. Whoever gets the king is uh, the first person to be the. Uh, how do I, uh, how do I grab you from it? Looking drag out. What is this? What is this software that you're using? What is this? Okay, so gear is the uh, first employer. Oh, me, Mike? Yeah. Oh, it's me. Oh, it's just Stream Deck. But you you could put like like audio filters in Stream Deck. I've just been using it to put like you, you know like sound clips of like. It's Tony a sound Brown. clip. Oh, it. Yeah, I'm just I can press the button and it pipes it through my um my uh line line in. <laughs> my line one, my virtual audio cable. So, good. yeah, I'm gonna try. Like I said to them before, I'm gonna try not to be annoying about it. And the Among Us sound does not work properly. You just hear like wood blocks. So there's, you know, not really yeah, much yeah, I can yeah. do. Yeah, but like that's that's kind of counterintuitive because in my view, it's like why do you put the work like like why why do this at all if not to be annoying about it? He can be mildly annoying about it. You know, it's like <laughs> it's like. A little annoying, just a little. But anyway. Okay. So Zot drew the king, so he's going to be the employer first. So, so I can are, flip this. Yeah, go ahead and will. flip that. And so okay. we're pimp. we're trying to get the job of a pimp. I don't think you like go to a classified ad to become a pimp. I don't know how it well, works, but I would assume you just so, become a pimp. 
right? I would as like a, as to a, the zoom in. Uh, alt to... Alt what? Uh, you just hold down alt. alt when you're hovering over it. And then oh, I'm going to start taking cards yeah. now. I'm going to replace... So now we all, like, it's like a grab bag of... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have to I have to take one that I if I don't like if I see one I want I have to put one of mine there and take and take the one I want. Yeah, you're trading them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, what if What if I wanted the one that you just took? You, know? you can take it. You, you, you just replace quick, it though. with one of the ones in your. You got to be fast. Yeah. What would be Red Sea? How How is that a, a trait that I have? Like what? We gotta um, make sure when you're responding to questions in the interview to use the star method to re to re answer questions. Do you know the star method for interviewing? The Ringo uh, Star method. <laughs> make MSP drawings that no one likes, but he just shows you your baby, and it's like, <laughs> all right. So when do I start? So I am qualified. So the the star method is stands for situation, task, action, and result when being asked behavioral questions of your past employment by a new employer, meaning you will describe a situation, you describe the task that you did to complete the, the task, you'll describe the actions taken by the whole group and the result of all those actions when responding to a question like that. And that's how I you can... Be, I will be penalizing people who use this method, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know you don't have to use it it's stupid but oh my that's, lord that's a, if that's some actual interviewing uh help if you're looking for a job pro tip all right has everyone taken cards out of the center made your hand nice mm -hmm. how I much time do we have on the clock for this what however long we, need, we want I don't just i mean right once now. we're good like so I'm, i go i go to the person on my left then right yeah. yeah mike are you good with your cards right I don't see how me taking these could improve my... I, I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Got, yeah okay, I'm good, I'm good with my cards. Gear, are you good? Yes. Okay, cool. And Vinny's good, so we're good to go. All right, I'm so good, yeah. starting with Mike. Uh, Mike, explain. You can pull them out one at a time, all at once, whatever works for you. Oh, uh, and you, what, what is the, the like, I'm going to select all cards and put them down on the... Yeah. Is that, just, okay, can you, can you see them now? Yeah, yes. they stack. You're going to lay them out, though, yeah, but yeah. Lay, lay okay, there we go. Uh, all right, all right so... so I'm, Go for it. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mike, for joining uh, this interview today. This is for our Pimp One position. It's an entry level position, but we feel like um, we looked at uh, your call in, and uh, we would like to see a little bit more and have you explain your your skills and traits that you have to uh, to fill this role as Pimp One. Uh, explain job your stars. <laughs> explain your stars. All so, right. So it's, it's, the floor it's, is yours. There's a timer. Like, is it? We should probably have a timer. Yeah. I say one minute would be good. Uh, but maybe like you know you can go a little extra depending on the employer I think is is a pretty good ground rule house rule all right there it is it's going now all right so okay I'm here for the pimp position I am slothful but that sounds like a disadvantage but that's actually an advantage because um you know when you're a pimp you make other people do the work for you right so like how you know uh lazy I am is is better for me as a pimp okay next point spirit uh, I've got a lot of spirit. I mean, what else do you need to hear? Seriously. All right, next one. Devil's advocate. Um, I think you always <laughs> need to see the other side of the, the situation. Like when a John gets up in your your shit and you got to smack a bitch or whatever, sometimes, you know, you got to be the bad guy. And that's a good thing. And that's why I'm the best guy for the job. I don't know what to do with heights, so I'm just going to gloss over that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about heights. I can see things that are going on down the block. I can see all the corners where the hoes are turning tricks. I'm like, I'm eagle-eyed eagle management. Eagle-eyed management. So, eagle -eye management. So, so what you're saying is you like to, to watch uh, to, to manage from the rooftops. Literally, on I'm, I am perched on a gargoyle like fucking Batman, <laughs> watching my hookers give head. Okay, and that is why you should hire me. Okay, thank you. Oh, dear. Uh, we'll, we'll, we we will get back to you within one to two my weeks. My mom's watching. You can't That's... say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one to start with. Sorry, sorry, mom. Sorry. All right. Uh, the next, the next uh, uh, potential hiring uh, entrant applicant, if you will, application person uh, for the pimp entry level pimp yes. position uh, is uh, none other than Rev Scarecrow. Rev, yes. could you please describe your skills for us in for sure. relevance to the pimp position? Sure. Vinny, you gonna start the timer for me? Oh, I don't remember how oh, to wait. do that. 
I think. How do you do it? Um, uh, is there a hotkey for it? There. Wait. Finn, do you see the chat? What? The goblins. Oh, the goblins. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Go. Okay. Uh. So hey, I, I should be a pimp because uh I fucking said so, and oh, um. Wow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I have night vision, so that way I can see what's going on at night, which is when hookers are doing their job. And so I know yeah. what's going on. Um, I oh, have so a, a chastity belt because I'm not <laughs> going to be tasting the product, so to say. Like, oh, I'm, I, so, so, like, I'm not going to be using up any of their time. They're always going to be working. Oh, wow. Uh, so not your... I, I can trust you won't steal company product. I exactly. Understand. I understand. I understand. <laughs> and also, in order to keep those hoes in line, I have an evil laugh. I don't have to hit him. <laughs> I can just scare the shit out of him. So, uh, night vision, wow. not going to fuck him. And uh, I'm scary. <laughs> and you should just give me the job. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That's a that's a lot of that's a pure sigma uh, resume I see. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, thank you, thank you so much uh, for uh, the uh, the interview. Um, your time is now up. We will be moving on to our next applicant, Garamatic. Garamatic again. This is for the entry level pimp position at at Pimp Incorporated, um, <laughs> stock ticker PMP. Uh, so I'd like to uh, see your qualifications here, Garamatic. We've had some uh, pretty strong hitters here at, in the recent, uh, the recent sure. interviews. I, I hope you can compete. I think the most important thing is to realize how you've grown up and, and how that affects uh, who you are as a person. And so I was born on the streets. Um, I know what I understand. Do. Get some time and yeah. I don't have to explain it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so moving on. Um, with that comes a set of skills. Uh, the most important skill is probably the poker face. When you're being grilled, <laughs> you cannot let up that you know anything. Tanisha, don't know her. No idea. Never heard of her. Um, the last two are just tools of the trade. Um, I see a lot of tramp stamps. That's part of the job. <laughs> what the uh, I don't have any. Let me be clear. But you're, I see them. I, I have to make sure they're up to snuff. You know, I feel so like you're saying them. you're good at identifying tramp stamps is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, I can see them. I can see Identification. That one. Sure. Okay. That one. And okay, the last okay. is just a large collection of erotica. You got to have a good, a good date. <laughs> you got to know what works <laughs> when you're interviewing other people to do your job, just as you are to me. Uh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that's a good list of qualifications. Um, uh, thank tomorrow. you. <laughs> Thank you, Garamatic. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll, 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 you'll hear back from us. Uh, we're going to move on to our final applicant, Vine Sauce. Again, this is for the Pimp One entry level position. Uh, please describe your qualifications sure. in, in, in kind. Yeah, I can do that. You ready? Yep. Okay, well, first off, thug life. Understood. <laughs> Need I say more? Second, I have a club. Which is the perfect, perfect thing that you want as a club. if you a club and a club cousin, and we can together <laughs> run this as a tight ship. You already have a club if you hire me. That's a perfect place to do business. Right? I see. I see. Yeah. Next, I have no sense of smell, which is good because it's gonna get real smelly in this place. And keep in mind, keep in mind that we have a motto for both us and our clients room to grow we can always hire more hoes and for the clients they can always grow from our product in more ways than one thank you <laughs> their <Thank> penises <laughs> i see that you're really thinking about the bottom line uh there and i really appreciate those points uh but judging um I'm going to bring you all into this final. Could you imagine an interview where you brought all of the applicants in and just picked them out I, of a lineup? I've had that. And they're all pimps. I've known people <laughs> who've done that. Pimps. Yes. Potential pimps. Not for yeah. pimps, it, but for other jobs. Slapping in that room, I think. <laughs> slapping, so, fair. Based, based on the aggregate qualifications, this individual shows true promise um for the the pimp one position and actually actually shows that they fit our company culture and values and i think they they represent the the best fit uh based on our hr standards and our corporate entities at large and so with that choice i have to go with 
Rev Scarecrow and Woo! his night vision. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> because we just don't ha- we don't got the money to implement night vision on a whole scale, so we want his skills for that. Can, can we do giant Shreks again for for like score? Yes. Keeping? Does anyone have the giant Shreks saved? I can't do it because I don't have admin. But oh, I can uh, give it to you. Uh, how do I am? Here, you're promoted now. It was like no, it was wide Shreks. Like you took a Shrek and you make put turned the wideness slider to max, and like that was our our, our counter. Do we keep How the ones I, in the center, or do we want to like draw a new set of ten? Do, do um, I think we should discard them. Okay. There's enough in the pile. Maybe when it gets halfway down, we can re- redo it or something. But okay. there's plenty in there. And I'll just take this, and then uh, well, you go ahead and keep your cards, Zot, because you're not. Oh. Oh, I mean, you, you can throw them out wise. now because we've seen all of them, but... Oh, yeah, I misunderstood. I apologize. Yeah, you're good. Uh, and then I will this widen the... the Shrek. If yeah, someone was to... Um, will someone uh, <laughs> deal out cards? Yeah, sho- shuffle all those, yeah. Is someone, did someone put them shuffle. face yes! up on the face down pile? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Should I make game? him, like, this way wide as well, or should I... Li- oh, what the fuck? Uh, no, this is fine. <laughs> That's good. Okay. No, I like 2D Shrek. Like, that's All right, awesome. cool. So that's yours. All right, I'm just going to hold on to that. Oh, thank you for the, the fedora, uh, Vin. You're welcome. <laughs> so um, it says here, winning the game for three to six players, the player with the most job cards after two rounds wins. That seems So I would assume reasonable. a round is, like, all the way around? All the way around, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mike is uh, doesn't need cards right now, right? I'm going to be yeah. the um, the higher higher. Yeah, entity. here you can look yeah. at this so you can think about things. Oh, I can look at. Are we my... going to be able to do this many oh. cards? Ten and ten for this many rounds? Four, four we can always shuffle plus. later. That would be the only. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Uh, there you go. Yeah. I I, I don't think we that. need the timer. I think truthfully, yeah. just get get through your cards, and be as concise as possible. And I I think let's try it without the timer because. We're not really using it, you know. Uh, what's what's this pile here? This is the discard pile. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, like, we need to put it somewhere that it's very discarded looking. Wait, right, right up here. Yeah. Okay, that works. Uh, but it is gonna spread them out mm-hmm. if we put okay, them in a right. hand. So I'll just put them sideways there. Yeah. Uh. All right. Okay. Mike, uh, ready, I guess. Mike what are we? We are looking for a televangelist. Uh, okay. Oh my god. I don't okay. even think I want to uh, change mine. Uh, All right. uh, <laughs> we are looking for somebody who intimately understands the ins and the outs. I'm replacing of... mine. We have to, who put another one down? I, I put one down. Okay. <clears throat> uh alright, so who my hand perfect. Uh <laughs> do I get rid of this one? Uh, televangelist. Um, right. Yep. We need we need uh, Christoids is what uh, we need. Uh, who's? Oh, you guys are okay. They're figuring out their cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Can Shrek wear the fedora? Yes, yeah, sort you, of. You can. You can kind of <laughs> make that happen, and, and you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make the fedora a little smaller too. I think it's the minus. Unfortunately, Chad, I don't see anything out here about, you know, buttholes or or Starbucks coffee or anything like that. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm good to go. I'm ready. I'm good. All right. So who starts? So What's it's to the... the person to your uh, left. So it'd be me. All right. So go ahead. Let's, All right. Let's, well, you're, you're already a reverend. So let's see what you could do. Well, televangelist is a bit of a different beast, you know? So first mm-hmm. off, I'm skinny. That's just a thing that televangelists are. You know? Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen mm-hmm. a fat televangelist? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay, shut up. Yeah. Uh, yeah I have a private jet, not. which is, of course, paid for Mandatory. by the congregation, which I need <laughs> in order to get around. So that way I can tell people <laughs> about Jesus, which is my job. I, I'll, I'll admit on this next one, I didn't fully understand what nunchucks were. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, and then we're just gonna gloss over that. <laughs> Rev, you thought it had something to do with nuns, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. No, you see, it's like, listen, I can throw nuns very far. I can Therefore, throw nuns super perfect. far, dude. Like, shot yeah. put a nun. 
I'm like, a nunchuckster. <laughs> he's a nunchuckster. It, it's it's sort of like uh you know like when you just like throw someone off the stage during a performance, you know, like right. into the and then they start crowd surfing. That's what I thought it was, but it's with nuns. And then I have a sexton. Okay. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, like the only thing that I didn't understand here was for a televangelist was slender frame. Just looks good right. to to Everything be skinny, else. you know. Jesus loves skinny people. Um. All right. Well, uh, that was uh, that was terrible. We'll be calling you back. Okay. Um, let me see gears. Sure. Uh. So, as we said last time, uh, what what makes the man the televangelist? Uh, mm -hmm. the three piece suit. They're always decked to the nines. Mm -hmm. Um. As as Rev said, uh, private jet everything. You gotta look the part. You got the money. You gotta look the part. Um. Next. We have crack, uh, absolute <laughs> crazy madmen spewing all sorts of nonsense. Uh, makes sense? Doesn't make sense? Doesn't matter. God told them. Sure, they're just they're just doing their thing, enjoying life. That checks this out. Next one, I'm gonna spin a little weird, but critical mass. Uh, always oh, packed. They always have <laughs> a packed congregation. So many people trying to rip them all off. It's pretty At the good. end of the day, perfect alibi. God told me. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, it's pretty damn good. Uh, that's pretty damn good. I am feeling the fire in my soul. Let me see Vins. Oh, right. Uh, well, first of all, I am sweaty as fuck, which I think if you've seen televangelists, you know that's pretty much a prereq. So, yeah. very sweaty. <laughs> Next, let's talk about the clientele. Six months left to live. Usually, <laughs> when you're watching these things, the people there don't have a whole lot of time left, which is why they're there. They want to believe. So, that and also cougars. You know, they'll, <laughs> they'll be there just as much as the people with the six months left. That's fine. We cater to them with our cold black heart. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think a cold black heart is totally requisite. Um... I mean, the six months le left to live kind of sounds like you you have six months left to live. <laughs> so, like, I mean, why am, why am I gonna hire somebody and and like I don't give him health insurance? It's like, you know, no, 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 that's that's the clientele. That's the whatever, clientele. Right? No, I'm 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 good, and, and Jesus will take care of me. So don't worry about that. All right. Um, I have one final question for you. Um, when you say cougars, do you mean big cats or do you mean like attractive older women? Um, yes. You know, uh, okay, all right, I accept that. We'll we'll get back to you. Attractive older cats, gotcha. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, your your prospects hinged on that answer. All right, let me let me see uh, Zots now. Let me see. Well, during my time as pastor at Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, I've I've accumulated many skills, and I'd like to highlight my top four and for this televangelist position. I'd like to firstly state that I I still have my V card. I haven't gotten rid of it. Never will. <laughs> Unlikely. Uh, and in, in keeping that V card, I make sure to always touch grass, um, be as close to the earth and our Lord as possible. Um, in fact, if I were a televangelist, I'd make sure to do it on a, a grassy field barefoot. Uh, and when I'm on the grassy field, I'd like to make sure to keep my lungs and my laryngitis moist. What? You know, just to make sure to get those, uh, my laryngitis. <laughs> 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 just got to gotta keep things moist, you know, to, to, to exhale and, and say the words of our Lord. And, and at the end of the day, when I'm done, I'll just be a slightly slimy. You know, it won't be dry. It, sweaty. It will just, it's just slightly slimy, not sweaty. Okay. Uh, I have a viscosity amongst my sweat, unlike my, my brother over here at Vine Sauce. He's just sweaty. I'm slimy. So uh, I think I bring a, a, a good level of qualifications to uh, this televangelist position. Thank you. So I have a few questions for you. What's a V-card? <laughs> well, that's genuine, I genuinely, I genuinely, I genuinely don't that's know. That's a V-card. All done. Uh, no more. <laughs> uh, that's between you and God, my son. I just I, I'm out of the role right now. I just want to know what a V card is. Can somebody oh, please tell me oh, what a V card is? If you have a V oh. card, you're still a virgin. Is it? I've never heard this before. Okay. Yeah, no V card. Yeah. Oh, wow. All thing. right. Well, that well that makes sense. All right. You want to be chased, right? Um, yeah. Also, oh. my other question is: You think that's a Louisiana accent? No, I don't think so at all. Yeah. All right. So I could tell you were lying to me from the second you walked in. <laughs> but luckily, luckily for you, my brother in Christ. 
uh, lies or what we do here. <laughs> um, so I'll tell you what, man. Um, let me just do a quick review. All right, Sex Den, Dunchard, that was dog shit. Uh, you know, I think I've got to give this to Gear for the word plays, actually. I like I just enjoyed I enjoyed that critical mass a lot. That was that was fine. The perfect alibi. And you had crack, of course. That's gonna get a chuckle out of me. I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna laugh at crack. You know, I can't help it. You know, I'm, I'm only human after all. So good job. Wrong choice, but all right. W one wide trek to gear. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, why don't we leave these later. just because it's kind of a bitch to uh, switch them out? And is there a? Can I just deal? Ah, there we go. Three, oh. four, done. Okay. All right. And then, uh, I'm the I next dude. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, you are. Yeah, okay, cool. So, I am looking for someone to be a proctologist. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, what is that again? Ah, oh, butt stuff, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure I understood that. All right, yeah. I want a butt doctor. Huh. Listen, my hand is great, but I'm the one hiring. So, you know, I mean. <laughs> uh, Let me know when y'all are ready. I'm good. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Mike? Yeah, I, just, I didn't even. Okay, I'm good. I, okay. I guess. All right. Uh, gear, you're first. Why should you right. be a doctor here at, at Dr. Hospital? Sure. Um, I think the most uh, uh, important thing of being a doctor at Doctor Hospital is you have uh, clammy hands. Okay. Um, there's no reason to touch somebody, especially in their posterior, unless your hands feel as terrible as possible. Sure. Um, the 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 side to that is you're gonna get dirty. It's part of the job. Um, you know, it's a it's a it's a tough a tough tough working conditions. Um, Are you saying you're coming into this job dirty? Yeah, why would I? Why would I come clean if I'm gonna just get dirty while I'm there? Okay, good point. You're coming in and coming out dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I, I would um, argue. Just don't even bother washing inside. your hands. It's all just it's gonna be poop. So whatever. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but okay. people's body. Okay, I'm not. It's not my turn. I'll shut up. <laughs> um, uh, there are some hazards in this job. Uh, the worst of which is uncontrollable gas. Okay. Um, both for me and the people I'm serving. Uh, okay. it's just not a fun time all around. Depending on you know who's dealing or who's receiving, and um. You know, we all pray that we just get someone wearing some spandex, easy access, in and out, boom, done. That's it. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever met someone less qualified for this job, but all right. Uh, Vinny, <laughs> what you got? Yeah, hang on a second. Gear's like, see, what I do is I cover myself in shit before I come to work. Can't get I basically am the You're grossest right person possible. Way, Hire me to be a doctor. Yeah, th that way, I'm already covered in shit. I'm ahead of the game. Right? Like, okay. Win win. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready I for my pitch? Shit yeah. Myself. Yeah. Go for it, Vin. Okay. So for me, this is the perfect job, and I'm totally qualified. I'll tell you why. Okay. Three words deep treasure chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, each of these words describes a part of the job. We go deep, <laughs> it's a treasure, and there's chocolate. But also, in order to do this job properly, you have to have a self, uh, a healthy dose of self-loathing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I already have that, and I know about the deep treasure chocolate. Totally qualified. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he won. All right. <laughs> All right here, or, uh, great Zot. Uh, I I feel like while I I don't understand the mysteries of the great treasure chocolate, I am a I'm a fast learner. I'm also. Uh, I'm also trained in uh, knocking out our patients. We don't have to pay for any anesthesia drugs. I can just knock them out. They're ready to go. Uh, and after I knock them out, I like to plow through my work um, <laughs> as quickly as possible. So we can have as many patients on the gurney as, and just get them out here. The frequency, my frequency is very fast. And so fast, I, I, I usually just go at it with a scalpel. I don't even using my hands per se we just cut it in sew it back up we get, get keep it going um and then if i really want to have some preventative measures for the, the the colon health of our patients i just use a fucking time machine and just tell them to eat better uh when they're like a kid 
so you know preventative measures so <laughs> all right, that's good <laughs> i feel like i should call the cops <laughs> 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 Like, less so than hiring you. <laughs> you should be arrested. <laughs> okay, Mike? Uh, yeah, I, I, my cards are awful. I This is a dump round for me. Let's just uh, get that you out there. You can switch Wait, cards out, bro. I, I Yeah, but I didn't. I don't know. I was, I was like, oh, whatever. I'll just work with what I have. But uh, All right. So, okay, so uh, anyway, Vinny wins I'll... because everyone else sucked. And yeah, Deep Treasure that's, Chocolate that's, is going to be a fair, meme, yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the loathsome deep treasure chocolate eater. I mean, what am I gonna do with a chainsaw? You know, like what? I don't know. Let's switch it put out. It up because someone, it's put bad. it up someone's ass. I got... You could. <laughs> Apparently, you can use a scalpel when doing proctology. So I don't know. I mean, I, I could, but should I? You, you could know? just donkey punch someone and then go in. <laughs> And then like plow them. Like yeah, yours uh, was terrifying, Zot. Yours, yours was like hey, legitimately hey, yes, dirty uh, jobs, man. So I don't want to do deal. Hey, you're not supposed to like going to the proctologist. One, right? two, three, four. He was uh, threatening. Yeah, one, it was. two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Uh, and then Vinny, did you already grab yours? Okay. I got my four. Yeah, cool. And then uh, Gary, you already drew. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. We all have cards. Who, what do you got? Who are we working for? Ready? Yep. Yep. I need a celebrity impersonator. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh. uh... Wait, how did that come back? We... Yeah, interesting, yeah. Uh, wait. Why are there more than ten cards? Because people are taking them. Oh, out we're still do. Okay, yeah. got it. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> uh. This is admittedly a tough one. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. looking at my hand and I'm yeah. Yeah, I can't fathom how I would spin this. Like, I this is just insanity. We might you need to reset me. this every round. Um, Wait, who was that? That was that was Vinny. I'm I don't sure. know. That was weird. I don't know. No, it sounded like a celebrity just popped in. Who who was that celebrity? Yeah, yeah, just for a second. <laughs> who, who was it? Gr Gray Leno. We had the Gray Leno. I, I don't know who that is. What is it, a meme? I don't know who that is. It's the worst. It's the most spiritual video I've ever made. You care to elaborate on that? No. <laughs> does, does Gray Leno have a lot of cars? I think he has several thousand. Several thousand. Do you want to hear something funny? Nick Mason, the drummer from Pink Floyd, has more cars than Jay Leno. I just found out. Why would you have more than, like, maybe two? <laughs> he was like a racing nerd. Right, or he is. That yeah, same Nick, cause, like he died. Nick Mason he apparently has the third most impressive car collection on this planet, and Jay Leno is like sixth. So that's kind of crazy. Wait, who has more? Uh, I would Nick imagine. Mason. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, but who's like number one general? on that list? Number one is Saudi Prince or something. Twenty ninth yeah. Sultan of Brunei, yeah. Hassan Al <laughs> Okay, what's this? Fair enough. Billion dollar car collection. Serious, Kerchow, dude. All right, are we ready? Yeah, all good. Uh, Those are the be, this uh... is the best as I can do. Yeah, right. yeah. He did. He did say anal, right? Chat, you heard that too. Like, he... I have the the image. It's a it's an infographic. I'll show you. But anyway, if you're ready, okay, here we go. Yeah, so, sure. I'll tell you why I'm gonna be the best celebrity impersonator. Here's why, brother. Because I've got a handlebar mustache, okay, and I've got about fifty tattoos. I'm unstable and I'm high. I'm Hulk Hogan, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I'm Hulk Hogan. I'm gonna impersonate Hulk Hogan. All right, thank you. Uh, yep. Zot. Well, I don't have all the 
the traits of a particular celebrity, I do have an understanding of of the celebrity underground, and I have to confess uh, that I know I know a little too much. Uh, so much so that uh, when I was working in the the celebrity underground, I had my hand cut off, and now I have a hook for a hand. Uh, again, might not help me out, but I, I promised you uh, that my my stools. <laughs> I don't know where I'm Deep going. Treasure with this. chocolate. <laughs> I I was. <laughs> I met a proctologist who told me about my deep treasure chocolate and he got it out for me. So I have value. I have worth. Uh, and I now understand that celebrity is really just a, a, a massive cesspool. So I don't know where I am, but I hope I get the job. <laughs> Great. Thank you, <laughs> uh, Mike. All right. So uh, celebrities, they all have God complexes, right? They're narcissists. The world revolves around them, usually, mostly, always, oh, all the time. Sweeping, broad generalization, right? I have a God complex, which makes me not only suited to impersonating these celebrities, but to this job interview, because this insane confidence is going to make you give me the job. It's going to. Um, also, I've got a six-pack, which enables me to um, impersonate all these guys that have six, six packs right i mean like that's that's rare like how many people like actually have a six pack nope nobody uh also um i've got a box uh for if i need to impersonate um oh, salt snake or that's not really a celebrity uh i don't know um I wasn't expecting that direction the guy from seven okay how about that <laughs> okay uh, if i got impersonate that guy or um uh, and I have no sense of humor, which you could tell from the rest of the things I just said. So that's my um, qualifications. Well, perfect. Okay. You. Uh, Rip? Yeah. Um, so here's the deal. When, when you hire a celebrity impersonator, you're doing it for basically one of two reasons. Either A, for like, you know, bar mitzvahs and birthday parties and that sort of thing. Or B, porn. Okay? Uh, so I have a black here. belt. Which is useful because I'm also into S and M, so I can do lots of weird stuff, dude. Also, speaking of which, tentacles. So if you want to make it just like your one of your Japanese animes, I can make that happen. You want some weird shit going on with your favorite celebrity? I'm there. I can do it. And you know why I can do it? Because I have absolutely no limits. Because I'm broke. Please give me this job. <laughs> Mm, that's a tough one. Wow. <gasps> I like the uh, porn parodies, but I think I'm going to go with uh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Hulk. Please, Straight please up, please up Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Can't resist Hulk Hogan. And then, yeah, do we need to switch these out? Uh, we can. Okay. Can't resist the bulk. I got my four. Oh, you drew them early. Macho Mania oh, is oh, a bunch don't put of them nonsense. There. Don't, don't be putting I thought, them we're gonna, there. I thought we were going to mix them up. Yeah, well, we're going to put them in this pile here. That's the oh, discard I pile. Just, I thought we were going to recombine them all and just shuffle. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no. I was talking about the uh, middle ten. Vinny gotcha. is using the Hulk Hogan filter on his stream deck. Well, he's pre he pressed the, the, the Hulk Hogan. The crop, brother. <laughs> oh, I just realized Oops. when I did the Shit. Gray Leno stuff, my, my pitch was too low. Hang on a second. This is what it's supposed to sound like. Hey, everybody, I'm a big celebrity. I got a lot of cars, but not as many as Hassano. Hassano. Uh, I ended up with extra cards, so I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have oh, to see this. I, I guess if I want in on this, I have to see this video. It was canceled after one episode, but due to overwhelming non-demand, it came back. Can I just have like a plot synopsis? It's a YouTube video that you made. Yeah, check check the the thing here. I'm going to show you. Um, check this image that'll be in the general. Wait, can I even put images in here? Yeah, you should be able to. Um, maybe no? not. We, we, we did the. DM the, it to me. I'll put it in there. The perms were, were complicated. We made the we made it like you know, four years ago. I don't remember what the hell we did. It was something that convoluted. Was, yeah, that was back when. It was, yeah. Back okay. In the day. Here I got I got it I got it I'm gonna just copy the uh, 
image location and you'll see it you'll you'll enjoy this i think <laughs> that, that's that certainly an image bottom. what is uh, that done in gary's mod uh no nightmare puppeteer it's called it's okay, just absolute you, nonsense. okay when, when, when did you make this uh i don't know sometime last week i just i guess my brain was extra fucked you did you did it with, with it vr chat what is it? no no i did just nightmare puppeteer which is something very crusty that inspired me to to bring out the sur like surreal weird shit i don't know i don't know why i'm even talking about this sorry but that's for fucking those that... horrifying what's wrong with that guy's head <laughs> <laughs> the what image that the image that i posted it says it was actually a snapshot from my um my st YouTube studio, it says, people who regularly watch your channel are showing less interest in watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I thought you'd get a just kick out of that. Ch channeling your, your inner David Lynch with this and, and Jay Leto. Yeah. God, what is this game, dude? Yeah, what is it? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll link you to the video game. after this, but it's the worst, maybe one of the worst things I've ever done. Okay. So, the yeah, it'd be, it might be fun for you to check out for like 20 minutes. You might enjoy it. 20? How long is it? Um, you can do whatever you want in it. You just place weird things, you generate random stuff, there's Booba, and you uh, just put him in these weird situations, and you, you just, it's Nightmare Puppeteer. It's like that a Gary's Mod kind of thing. Though. No, okay. that sounds great. You know I love that shit. That sounds great. Is it co-op? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It might be. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Source, Source filmmaker, filmmaker ready? Fuck. No, this sounds amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, so you have to, <laughs> um, uh, I'm looking for a queen. Or the queen. That's the, the job. Okay? So you, however you want to go about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My queen. I never wanted it. The queen. Okay. Uh... Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. What the hell does that mean? Uh, or yeah, maybe the band queen. I don't know. You can interpret this a couple different ways. That's a spicy choice. Yeah, all right. All right. Frederick von Mer Mercurial. Okay, let me know when everyone's ready. Well, I think you'd have to. Be, you'd have to be all four of them at once, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, is everyone ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Good. We need to have some way right, of indicating so, this. All right, Great Zot, I want you to tell me why you would be the perfect queen for this job. I am Millennia, Blade of Mikla, and I have a katana, <laughs> and I have utmost self-respect for myself. Uh huh. And I, I've just been recently told by... <laughs> by Radon as I jabbed his blade within him that I can make an online dating profile for which you can reach me and I, I've been get, really getting into moisturizing my rot so now I have soft hands I think I'd be a perfect queen oh my you. god it's not... <laughs> I wonder how Mike feels about this one <laughs> with me? Mike has a blade. Yeah, because... You have it's a blade, Elden Ring. It's uh, no, I, I recognized what it was, what was going on <laughs> immediately, and I, of course, I don't get any of the references. But um, you know. all right, You're the all only right, person on earth who hasn't played this game. No, I haven't. Oh, oh, oh G yeah. uh, John hasn't oh, either. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. Oh, all right. Well, thank you for the uh, application, good sir. Thank you. That was wonderful, Mike. How about you? You know, queens, they gotta be perfect for the public they've got to have it turned on all the time they've got to be mm -hmm. looking sleek they've got to be looking sexy especially as they become older and liver spotted and start to decay but that's why i'm shaved completely so i'm a smooth queen okay i am smooth for the people right everybody's going to be really excited they're going to be take the paparazzi is going to go nuts when they see my smooth wrinkly body they're going to love that shit all right uh -huh. um, next up <laughs> Uh, I've got this foam sword. It's not a katana, but you know what? Um, what, what are we? You know what? That that's, that's doesn't make sense. Like that's a Japanese sword. Why would I have Japan? Didn't have queens. It had emperors, 
and empresses. Okay, <laughs> I that's 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 bad. That card is bad. My sword might not be a real sword. It's more like a LARPing type of a thing, but I can still knight people with it. And that's what mm -hmm. queens do, right? They knight people. I'll make you a okay. sir if you hire me. You'll become okay. a, a, a sir like Elton John and uh, Patrick Stewart. I know you like him, especially when he starred in that amazing TV show that you fucking go on about all the time, how much you love it. Picard. We've also got... Uh, so that's like, that's gotta be, you know, getting your juices flowing. We've also got this, um, box wine because queens yeah. are going to be, um, you know, like, you know, we're going to be drunk or whatever. I, now that's not wine that comes from box. That's wine that is fermented in my box. <laughs> now that is huge because it is royal, a royal box. It oh, is good. No. That's right, buddy. It's good for you. It's good for the country. All right. Lay down. Drink your box wine and think of England, okay? Uh, finally, I got a minivan in case, you know, we got to go somewhere, whatever. We got to escape the paparazzi <laughs> and, and all that. Uh, we get in the minivan. We uh, we roll out. Okay, it's very well protected. I am uh, the new queen. All, all hail your new queen because I'm getting this job. Thank you. That was a long pitch. Sorry. If we had that timer. I'm losing miserably. I got to try something. I got to try. However... I thought that was very interesting and very informative. Thank you for the pitch. Next applicant, Rev Scarecrow, why would you make a good queen? First off, I'm cute. And that's really important in a good queen. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm super cute. Um, yeah. Also, I basically don't know what sex is. So no sex scandals here. Okay. Like, I'm okay. super sheltered. Like, I have no idea what's going on. But I'm really open. Like, princess die levels of open. Like, I, I, you know, like, I talk about, like, all the issues I'm having, and I try you're and, open? like, be open with the people and all that. Like, I don't... You you're open? Yeah, I'm open. Yeah, do, you make, do you make wine in your vagina? Wow. But you know you're what? Instead of a stupid you? minivan, I've got a fucking sports car, because that's what rich people drive, <laughs> and I'm a queen, bitch. Yeah, but you're, 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 you know, no. Okay, no, because that draws attention to you. You're trying to go under the radar. No, you have the paparazzi I'm chasing you through tunnels. I want the paparazzi you know, to look at me. I want to drive <laughs> my sports car <laughs> two eighty queens, miles over the speed limit and crash into a wall. Right you now. Want, no, you don't want the attention. It could be dangerous. Like, this is happens. not a debate. I'm cute. Fuck you. <laughs> it's just like the Bachelorette. <laughs> okay, you want minivan to just again fly under the radar. Shut up. This is my time. Wow. I didn't interrupt you when you were doing your foam sword thing yeah. and your box wine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. Sorry. Well, sorry. I'm sorry. Very, very. Yeah, you're a shitty queen. I'm sorry. You're a shitty queen. <laughs> I'm cute. V very interesting pitch. That's very cute of you. But um, we we need to hear the next application. Thank you. Thank you. Giramatic, Tell me why you would make a good queen. Sure. I I'm I would make a good the queen, the current queen, because yes. decency. Oh. The the pinnacle of decorum. Not fighting with all my other friends here about whether I should be driving a sports car or a white van. Uh, stay, staying out of it, you know, cool as a cucumber, um, mm -hmm. keeping my head on. Uh, seeing as I am the queen, the current queen, I'm so old, nothing left to lose. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, what, what's the worst that could happen? I die? It's going to happen anyway, right? That's, that's, it's around the corner. Um, Jesus. But, along with being old comes some bad taste in and outfits and architecture um huh? my my style's from like the 1800s still so uh, maybe an issue but maybe something that you could uh lean into and, and you know enjoy and um as with any other queen uh some daddy issues i mean uh, <laughs> royal line you gotta ha there's always there's always some you know controversy in the royal line but uh, we work through it oh man wow all right oh man <laughs> So this is a tough one, because I I think because they're all you, bad. You, not, yeah, none of these are great, but <laughs> ah, God, I mean, the thing about it is the decency aspect is nice. Nothing left to lose. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Yes, at that age, um, you know, listen, uh, Zot, I don't think Melania Blade of Mikula was actually a queen, but that was she nice. Could be. She could be. Could could be. If you if and, you let her into your heart. Um, Mike, your box wine bit utterly disgusted me <laughs> and completely, completely made me lose my appetite. Um Yeah, I had a feeling it was gonna do that. That's why I'm gonna give it to you. What? Oh. Oh, wait. oh for real? 
<laughs> yeah, oh my god. Yes, thank you. That, oh, you made also, the right choice. That and also you have a good point. You were the only one who mentioned that you could knight someone with that foam sword. You're, You're the only one that could knight someone. <laughs> However, otherwise, Gear, that was a very, very, very compelling pitch. And same for you, Rev. You, you, Rev, make no mistake, you were the better queen, but Mike's level of disgusting queen was just much more fun. Sure. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Royals got to be trashy, dude. Decorum. You think the public cares about decorum? No, they want to see a drunken, you know, princess getting a, a slap that's, fight with her cousin. You people do love their the drama. Wall. That's what they, yeah, that's they too many Shreks. You don't need this many Shreks. Yeah, that's one Shrek too many. Here, you can have one Shrek. In celebration of this, I'm going to knight everybody. Here we go. Fuck You're yeah. all knighted. Uh-oh. Sorry, how do you get rid of this? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Dude. That is legitimately <laughs> horrifying. That sound is legitimately like terrifying. I, I got him. I'll get rid of him. All right. I got it. All oh, right. I didn't realize um, it was fucking Smash Mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure is. So, Zot, who are you? What's what's the job? Um, <clears throat> I will tell you. The job is actually. I didn't even look at it. That's okay. Oh, um, okay. Uh, applications are now open for the new Dairy Science Center, um, and we're looking for a well-qualified ice cream maker. We're looking for all the interesting flavor profiles that you can provide to our manufacturing processes, and we're also interested uh, in any information you would have to um, improve or optimize the ice cream making prod process from raw product to retail. Really? So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, ice cream. Hmm. And in the meantime, I wouldn't mind hearing what Chats and y'all's favorite flavor of ice cream is. Uh, intense chocolate. It's it's chocolate ice cream with chocolate chips and chocolate syrup. Ooh, oh, all right. It's good. That sounds good. I like chocolate ice cream, but vanilla is still kind of my favorite. I like vanilla with chalk. Everything Rev said, but put that on vanilla. Yeah. And I mm. and put a hot brownie near it or on it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jesus. you win. That is better. But I do love that too. That sounds fantastic, Rev. Cold Stone used to have peanut butter ice cream. Not like chocolate ice cream with the peanut butter in it, but actual ch uh, peanut butter ice cream with like little peanut butter chunks, and that was really good. But usually just the vanilla shake is what I go for. Or I love that ooh, too. A mint Oreo shake. That's actually really good. I used to like coffee flavored ice cream a lot. I don't know if I still do, but I might. Okay. I like I like Moose Tracks. That's my fave. The, the, the that? one that is like moose tracks it's it's that's it, ben and jerry's isn't it i think it's a i don't know if it's like a just a ben and jerry's thing but oh. i've seen tiger tracks and it's the same thing it's just like caramel swirl and then a bunch of like cookie bit it's like a kind of a grab bag of stuff but it's in vanilla ice cream i, I like the textural differences in ice cream vanilla dude um uh, are we ready i'm ready uh i'm ready i'm good Okay, uh, well, our first applicant for Ice Cream Maker, uh, Dairy Support Specialist 1, is uh, ready to go. So we're going to interview Mike. Uh, can you please provide us your top four qualifications for this position and possibly any information you might have related to uh, any new flavors to the ice cream world? <laughs> I'd love to do that. So allow me to introduce myself. I'm going to be your Willy Wonka of ice cream. I'm going to bring a lot of fun to your company. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to give tours of the factory with my jazz hands because I'm <laughs> fun and I'm, I'm, I'm wacky. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm a confectionery uh, genius, really. All right? Uh, also, I have this monocle, which makes me even more whimsical. <laughs> I'm very whimsical and wacky, right? And people are going to just be so enamored with me. Um, you know, I've got... Also, if I'm a Wonka-like figure, I've got to be capable of terrible things. 
right? Like like <laughs> allowing children to drown in rivers of ice cream and and like, shrinking them down and, and just making you know and making them like big and inflated and just 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 really like sadistic twisted shit. I can do all that, but with a touch of you know um whimsy, right? I've got all that going on. I have also got an uncontrollable libido, which is. <laughs> very helpful because i have uh, a lot of a lot of sex and i reproduce and those little fellas become my oompa loompas and they are like free labor basically so i win next uh, so, I, uh, <laughs> well this isn't a public facing position but i do appreciate it opinion. is now it is now because you know what you didn't have a reason for it to be public facing before now you got me now you got me you can have fun with the job now <laughs> It's not customer facing, but thank, thank you, Mike. Uh, we're going to move on to Rev. Uh, again, this is for the ice cream maker, Dairy Support Specialist One. If you happen to bring into the table any new ice cream flavors, we'd love to hear from it. But yeah. bring us your top four qualifications, Rev. What do, you, what do you think is good in ice cream? You tell me, Rev. I already know what no. you're going to say because I'm a mind reader. It's candy. <laughs> candy is good in ice cream. And you know what I got? I got candy, I got swag, and I can make <laughs> your ice cream go viral because I know what people want. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that just sounds like you're putting hepatitis in the ice cream. <laughs> hey, how about you shut up and let me do my thing? <laughs> Fucking bootleg as Willy Wonka? Uh, <laughs> I know exactly I, what you want and I got it. You want candy? I, I, I brought I, it with me. Here, you want some? You want some fucking candy? I got it. We, we see we, we have Swag. both t two very marketable uh, customers uh, facing individuals who have applied thus far. Uh, thank you, Rev. We'll be interested in, in seeing what kind of candy flavors you could provide. But we're going to move on to the next uh, applicant, Giramatic, your top four application qualifications. Uh, go ahead, ice cream maker. Sure. Well, you may think that candy is the best thing that goes with ice cream. But I'm here to say it's actually alcohol. Alcohol goes with everything, <laughs> let me tell you. And because of all the alcohol, I'm fully qualified and ready to go for this day job. I'll be there every day on time, get lots of sleep, go home, take a nap at a weird time, but I wake up in time for work, it's all good. Um, the side effects of that are I'm a little passive aggressive and a little bit blunt, but you know what? That gets the work done, it gets it done quick, so I can go home and have a drink. Gruff, gruff, alcoholic ice cream maker man. I'm just thinking like a, like a guy, like the ice cream man, like truck, like <laughs> gruff guys. Are you gonna buy it or not? He, he's like breathing on the kids. He can, they can smell the bourbon on him. It's like get your fucking ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're moving on to our okay. final applicant, Vinny. Please let us know how you would, would make a fantastic ice cream maker for our company. Well, I'm qualified in a number of different ways. For example, with ice cream, you want to have a lot of different flavors. You want to try new things. That's why we're going to do experiments. Experiments <laughs> with things like cane sugar, for example. Okay. And that well. way we can create the most effective ice cream taste of the most delicious, most amazing popular tastes of ice cream that are on the market today. Also, I have an addictive personality that will just tickle you. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it. was a tick ticklish and addictive personality on the planet. Uh, okay. Uh, shit. Uh, let me look at these. Mike is 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 uh, whack job Willy Wonka. Uh, let's see. We got the viral candy Rev Scrayer Crow. We got literally just day job ice cream worker Gearmatic. <laughs> Uh, and we got the experimental addictive personality, Vinny. I think I'm going to have to go with... Just because I think it's... it's The, the realism hits me so hard. I think I'm going to go with Gearmatic. <laughs> I, I just can't get the image of like a guy in like... And I, the, like the... You're working in a, a plant and where they're wearing all the white garb and like the hairnet and i'm just that, that image is so funny to me so yeah we're gonna go with the gear on that one it was just like blunt honesty of, yeah 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 like like i'm gonna suck at this job but you know what right. you want me <laughs> i'm gonna drink on the job and here's why that's a good thing here's why that works yeah this raisin is now rum raisin <laughs> uh 
One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You can also oh right-click and click draw, and that'll uh, just take it straight to your hand. Uh, yeah, that's... Okay, from that... From the deck, okay. yeah. Oh, I see. Draw. Uh, I I gotta say my whoop, my cards. Whoop. Oh, I already have cards. Yeah, oh, I got, wait, 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 please wait, stop oh, this. <laughs> oh, oh, did I click the wrong? It looks like I clicked the wrong thing, guys. Yes, I'm that, just gonna put oh, those back in the stack. And, yikes, uh, yikes. and then you can just shuffle them. Yikes! I'm very sorry. I You're did good. that. Uh, did anybody have cards that they liked when I did that? I did, but I just threw them back. It's fine. I put the one oh, back. Oh yeah, I miked it. Yeah, I miked that pretty hard. Um. Yeah, it's classic. Uh, who's gonna be the? I, I think I'm hiring now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so I. You know what the fun part is? I didn't even go. need cards. I fucked everybody up for no reason. <laughs> Here's your thing. Fucking nice, nice. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Let's let's find out what you're gonna be uh, applying for. Singer. All right. Mm. Not, not Freddie Mercury. Um. Specifically, could be though. A classic <laughs> Mike moment, yeah. Mike is playing 3D chess. He can't lose if no one can win. All right, well, the lubricated, uh, what was it, uh, laryngitis would be an asset here, Zot? Yeah, kind yeah. Of it channel that energy again? It's, 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 a new, it's a new version of laryngitis that you can get, you know. Uh, you just, it, it lubricates. It's actually a beneficial laryngitis. Good. It's, a, it's like yeah. pro, probiotics. Yeah, pro probiotics. Um, it's just like yogurt. Uh, for your throat. Um, okay. Um, now, I, I'm going to just put this out there. Um, as you are applying for this position, regardless of what fucking cards you show me, I'm going to need to hear a little sample. Need to hear a little sample of what you got? How about no? How about yes? I'm ready when y'all are. Go to Spotify and type Red Vox. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell. Um, <laughs> oof. Was that, was that the cash register for you getting all the views on Red Vox? <laughs> all 13 cents. <laughs> it's 13 more than you had before. Yeah. Uh, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we start with Rev, right? All right, so it's a little known fact, but I actually wrote Black Hole Sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's important to know. I, wow. I, I, I like that song a lot. Let me hear a little sample. No, you've heard it before. You know yeah, it. Just, and here, so here's the issue it, is that, that, that I have a constant string of bad luck, which I use as inspiration for my songs. The whole Black Hole Sun thing being one of the the examples i have yeah, a drinking really cool. problem which is also partly due to with the whole bad luck thing you know drink in order to get rid of the bad luck and then i drink oh. and then that causes oh. me problems and then i have more bad luck and then i drink more so it's sort of just a, a thing that keeps going also want to fuck my mom <laughs> whoa oh. dude <laughs> <laughs> well hey um that did come out of left field but i I, I do appreciate like complete honesty from our applicants. Like, yeah, that was something There's you tried to hide to me. Go, I've got problems, is yeah. what I'm saying, and the only it, way to fix it that. is music. If like months down the line, I found out that you were like, you know, that you were like this, that would yeah. cause a problem. But because you were upfront about it, I can just fire you or not hire you in the first place, so we don't go that. It doesn't go that far. Well, right. here's the deal. You know these things. Can you imagine the banger songs and how much we're going to be talking about me on Twitter? Like, oh shit, it's fucking Rev again, and he he's he's here doing some weird shit, drinking out in public, just lying in a gutter, and all the pictures of my ass sticking straight up in the air in a gutter. Like, every song he writes is, like, about his mom. Just, just right, really the... weird stuff, man. Okay, if, 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 if you can I'm into sing... MILFs. What of it? Who is if, it? If... They're bang. The... It's great. Sing the chorus to Danzig's mother right now, and I won't even hire. I won't even interview anybody else. No, not gonna be put on the spot. No. All right, he said here he's refusing. I'm you, refusing. I will just give you the Shrek right now. Just I understand. I, I, I feel confident in my ability to uh, drink my my pain away. 
All right. Uh, now you realize that this was a position for a singer and not a songwriter. Like you've demonstrated, like oh, you you well, just yeah, been I can about sing. I it. just I also can write, and that's important. Oh, okay, I do like Black Hole Sun a lot. So it's you got a good song. Thing. I'm glad I wrote it. <laughs> okay, Gary, let's see your thing. Sure. Um, so my qualifications stem from my time doing uh telenovelas. Um, <laughs> where. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's full of drama and that, that you know, what's what's what fuels songs, but um, your mm -hmm. your sad childhood and the trauma that you went through. Um, the combination of these two allow me to make my epic rock opera where um, I ride around in a spaceship wearing a cape and just sing about my life and, and how tough it's been for me. That does sound really fucking cool. The whole thing's going to be in Spanish? Yeah. Why would it be? Um, Amigo, dude. Uh, yeah, I, just, I, just, I don't really, I don't really speak Spanish, so I mean, like, can you do subtitles. a version in English? Subtitles, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, we can maybe do a, a, a an alternate audio channel, but yeah, subtitles would be the subs, not dubs, you know. All right, let me hear you sing two verses of Oye Como Va. Isn't it just all Oye Como Va? Are there other words besides Oye Como Va? <laughs> uh, I think oye there's like Como Va. He's doing it. Da -da -da. Da -da. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. that's it. That's yeah, just make up, make, make, make up the words you don't know. That was great, though. Okay, that's gonna definitely help towards your application. He speaks All Spanish. Right. Uh, let me let me see. Uh, let me see. Here's okay, me here's see. my pitch. Let's see what you got. Made myself a little garden. Uh, you know the rest. Anyway, as his lead singer, I have poor judgment. <laughs> Everyone knows that one must have poor judgment to do this job. <laughs> I also have a pretty good grunt. Like Brian Johnson, you know, throw those in in your performances like an Eddie Vedder grunt, and then you get yourself a good song, yeah. right? And yeah, to yeah. further qualify myself as a singer, I have a magnum bone. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't need to stuff his pants with a cucumber like Robert Plant. He's already got the fucking stuffing, right? Like, that's a huge part of it. You got... <laughs> You gotta have a right. fucking, uh, you gotta have a, a big package on stage. That's um, right, like Robert Plant, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this, this and Freddie. A, a good, yeah. I mean, this this was a good, um, actually, fucking application. The poor judge, the grunt thing, and the Magnum Bone. I fucking, and you get, you know, you sang maybe like one of, uh, the, I think my favorite songs that we've done. Uh, Thanks. and I mean, some of you, some of I think my favorite like vocals from you, um. But let's uh, let's see Zot before I just go ahead and slam okay. that Shrek down on you. While I might have a set of false teeth, that doesn't mean fans won't lust for me. <laughs> Hop on stage with my peg leg to the door. <laughs> I hope you choose me to sing and sway. This is a very exciting day. Please don't let this be all a hallucination. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he wrote a song he wrote a song a whole i did too shit. and i'm not getting any credit for that <laughs> oh <laughs> he like wrote a song and performed it although it sounds like your uh your your character that you've created here is just like, like I'm, I'm imagining like mickey rourke and the wrestler it's like it's just, a bit, mixture between like a country singing DMT uh, drop in pirate, I think. Yeah, he he's got a lot of health issues. Um, yeah, yeah. But but I mean like man, he 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 wrote a banger. He performed the banger too. Um, shit, dude. I mean like all right. Uh, <laughs> fuck. He, he was a good pitch. I was so a good pitch. One hundred percent gonna give this to Vinny before you fucking hit me with a full ass song. Uh, but I think I'm still gonna give it to Vinny just because. Wow. He, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but he had. Oh, oh, I don't give a shit. He's got the, the he, bone. He's got the look. He's got the grunting. He's got the. He's got the. He's, poor, mar he's more marketable. He's no, the, I get it. No, I get it. He, it's I mean, market, it's a you know, thing. your guy. Yeah. I mean, you're saying he's, that, that the fans are gonna lust after you, even though you got the false teeth. And the, and I'm the that egg good. Leg, but 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 I mean. <laughs> I just break barriers, man. Cock Jabroni, bias. we were in a band together, Mike, says a chat member. <laughs> Listen, there's, I will admit to a small degree of nepotism, but come on, dude, the Magnum Bone. He had, he had everything you need. You need. That's just Exodia um, right there. The I'll, give it, I'll, give it to, I'll give my Shrek to Zot. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> you can have it. The, uh, the honorary Shrek. <laughs> if I could split Shreks in half, I would give each of you a half a Shrek like King Solomon, okay? All right. Well, I can make cool a smaller Shrek. Way. What happened? I can make a, a smaller Shrek. Shrek and give them like half Shreks. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. that. Shrek. Here. Smaller than that. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. So now honorary yeah, yeah. Shrek. Honorary little yeah. Shrek. I'll put that one on top of the other one. Oh yeah. god. Oh. What happened to the Shrek Tower? Uh, Shrek I tried to add another sh oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> That's one too many Shreks. There we go. He's just Shrek in the place. So uh, now both Vinny and Great Zot had a, a Shrekling. We... Right. So, so I have two and a half. Zot has half. That's that's yeah. the way I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Um, yeah. Random fact: I've been with my wife for almost ten years now, and have never sung in front of her. She's heard me wow. sing in the shower, so I'm not gonna sing in front of all of these people before I sing in front of her. Yeah, but that's is she fair, is, is she watching the stream right now? Uh, probably not. She's probably like asleep because right. it's the weekend. Nah. Because you know? I was going to make the argument that it would have been, it would have been all of everybody would have experienced it for the first time. So. Right. All Listen, right. I don't even like doing karaoke. I like I, I am the weirdest lead singer of a band because I just don't like. I don't like singing, singing in front of people. Yeah, it, it gives me the sweats. And well, the I don't agita, like singing in so. front of other people, but I like swinging. I, I like singing by myself Ooh. when no one's around. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the the slur in my word there was interesting. We're, I'm hiring for a cheerleader. Yeah, let's hope she's not watching this. Um, cheerleader, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Nice. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, what's the profession? Cheerleader. cheerleader okay, sorry, yeah. I was I blanked out. Yeah. Um. I think the one song that I did on, uh, do you remember rock? No, was it rock band? It's the mm -hmm. one where you, yeah. The only song that I could actually have the vocal range for on that soundtrack was, uh, that I knew the lyrics of was black hole sun. Ironically. Um, because yeah, I'm not gonna, uh, I've had to do karaoke before and I fucking hated it. Because the worst part is I don't know any of the songs aside from, like, Rage Against the Machine. And that is not a good song to start off the night with. Like, no one's drunk yet, you know? It's true. I, I used to do karaoke, like, every week at one point. I had a friend that would drag me there. And uh -huh. I, like, got over my fear of it. But I did, like, you know, stuff that <laughs> no one wanted to hear, like Pink Floyd. Sure. You know, like... It, it was fun for me and a fun uh, fun thing for a couple people that were there, but generally, yeah, it wasn't like the most popular. That and the Talking Heads was fun. I used to do that. Mm -hmm. One of the weirdest nights of, of my life was when like we all got drunk and and Vinny did karaoke of Pink Floyd's Echoes for twenty two minutes and just made like whale noises. <laughs> <laughs> he was like. Burr! And everybody was like, Me? is he okay? Gun I was Gaga. like, yeah he's, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Did you say Gangaga? Yeah. I didn't. It cut me off. It cut me I was yeah, making you, you, It was making whale noises. The pitch noises was, yeah. Person. We got, the, we got the vibe. You got the gist of it. Okay, yeah. it was whale noises. Okay. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, gear. I need a cheerleader. Um, sure. Um, again, as I always, what are the essential traits of a cheerleader? Um, you're not a cheerleader if you are not passive aggressive to sure. everybody below you. That that's just required. You mm -hmm. got to be a little bit of a bitch. You got to be a little bit of passive aggressive. You gotta you gotta own it. Speaking um, as a bitch, flip I side, agree. Yeah, the flip side to that is in private, you're just a hot mess. I mean, <laughs> there's no there's no way you can't be. All that drama throughout the day, you know, putting people down. You realize maybe it's you who has the issue, but keep it in private. Um, Are you describing me or a cheerleader? <laughs> I mean, if you're a cheerleader, maybe you, but uh, okay. it depends. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Um, the last two go together. Uh -huh. um, you got to make sure you're uh, rolling out a little bit to help okay. throw people around. Because um, otherwise, if you mess it up, someone's going to end up in a wheelchair. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. 
Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, um, <sighs> everything I know about cheerleaders was from movies I watched in the late 90s. So I know that they have an insatiable appetite for uh, success, victory, and cheering. Then there's this card. Right. I don't know what that means. Uh, but I also come equipped with edible underwear. That's a nice. nice and one. at the end of the night, yeah. I am utterly alone. <laughs> so that's okay. that's the best I've got. That's that's my best pitch. Thank you. And the edible underwear is a good good perk. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, as a dragon, I might not be the <laughs> most uh, <laughs> the best associated qualified for a cheater, but I found out through the use of titrating fairy dust, I can be a beautiful cheerleading girl. Um, but also, uh, I've, I've been practicing on my ballet, which are skills that can be uh, used in cheerleading, specifically the Nutcracker. Uh, I've, been, I've been in many Nutcracker shows uh, on Broadway and off. Uh, and I just think I'm just an expert at all this stuff, uh, being a dragon uh, girl cheerleader. Uh, please pick me. All right. <laughs> okay. I've seen this anime. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> A thousand year old dragon, by the way. Yes. All right, Mike. All right. All right so, uh, here's my first question. Do you know what a holla back girl is? I, I'm aware of the concept. Yes. All right. Well, are you one? Uh, I, I sure am buddy. Okay. And let me tell you, this shit is bananas. B A N A N A S. Huh. And what I'm about to show you is my shit. I'm going to show you my literal feces. So get ready for that, buddy. Okay. Uh, first up, uh, yes, my name is Gwen Stool Funny, and I'm here for the job. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm a beefcake. All right. Why all right. am I beefcake? Because you uh, you got to be strong to throw people around and shit. Like uh, like Gear said, right? He's on the steroids. Well, I don't need steroids because I'm naturally a beef a beefcake, right? Uh. Next up, I've got a, a drug habit. Okay. But I'll tell you what, um, that's actually uh, a good thing because it keeps you, it, it's, it's, uh, it's amphetamines, which keep me thin, so I'm able to be lifted by other people and all that good stuff. So that's, that's actually good here. It's like okay. ephedra or whatever. That's a good right. thing. I'm also a shallow fucking bitch. Uh-huh. Um, of course. As, as you basically Zot have to be, yes. Ge Gear also pointed that out, right? Mm -hmm. No, yes, uh, yes. Zot, Zot, was, Zot was a dragon, okay? Yes. Um, and uh, you know what? I got these yoga pants so you can see my, my delicious ass, mm -hmm. like, really well. And you can, um, you know, like, I don't know, spank to it or whatever. Like, that's what yoga pants are for, right? Not yoga. They're, okay. Lord. Can, can um, I ask you a question about your yoga pants? Yep. Do they have something written on the back? Yep. What do they have? It says juicy because I have a juicy S. Okay. It's important. Is that cool? Yeah. No, that was important. We need to clarify that. All right. So holla back at me by telling me that I'm getting the job. Okay. Um... Juicy. Yeah, I know. I know about juicy. Juicy. You can't just... We're not doing an oven window situation where you can just say a thing until it works. Juicy. I kind of, okay, so all of you but one went very similar in your, your approach to how you were going to deal with this. You all, you, and, and I, I feel like it would be good to have like a star true leader, someone who's really going out of their way to like be something different because we can get regular ass cheerleaders, you know, shallow, loose and, and, um, passive aggressive cheerleaders, but we cannot readily get dragons. So I think I'm going to give it to Great Zot for for the dragon uh, because uh, that I feel like is uh, what what would be the name of the anime that's like it's a a girl dragon that wants to try out for the cheerleading squad and it's just all the wacky adventures she goes on you know and then all the cliches what would that be named animes are getting like more specific in their naming um, just like. I got reincarnated as a dragon who's a cheerleader. In April. In April. In April. Yeah. In, in, in April. April. Yeah, Imagine in April. dragons. That's really good. <laughs> oh, please, God, no. Better than the band. <laughs> That's I, a I low gotta, bar. I got to be honest here. I, I don't care about all right, sports at, at all, but, like, if you told me there was a fucking dragon cheerleader, I'd be in that stadium, like, in a second. Like, yeah, you, that's you, fucking you, wild, you would, dude. You have yeah. to know. Yeah, I'd be Still, like, okay, I'm there. Yeah. 
I don't give a shit about the sport. I just want to see a dragon do like the splits. That's fucking wild. That would get my ass in the seat for sure. Um, Mike is a dragon fucker. Yeah, let's take that away from what I said. <laughs> um, we're all good. I I am good. Miss Kobayashi's. For... Yeah, I was gonna say that's Miss Kobayashi's whatever. Uh, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Enough. Enough talking about the dragon skier. I'm looking for a reality show contestant. Ooh. Okay. Oh. I don't even, even oh. need to change it anything. Well. Ooh. Oh wow. And I will want to know which reality show you are going to be on. It's like you're just like a aggregate like producer for reality shows, so you don't really you want to know what the the people like what kind of reality show they're trying out for, right? Yeah. 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 I okay. Mean, okay. Hmm. All good? I'm good. Mm hmm Yeah. All right, Vin. Okay, so um, as we all know, with reality TV shows, people have short attention spans. Hmm. That's what this kind of TV is meant for. Keeps you engaged. For a short amount of time, flashes all kinds of different scenes, and that way you have people watching for longer. That said, I have a really good sob story. Nobody loves a good sob story more than reality TV watchers, right? Which has, of course, led me to becoming bipolar. And then later in the reality show, if people are sick of the drama, if they're sick of the sob story, I just go topless. <laughs> On the show or, or uh, in your own time? On the show. Okay. <laughs> that will require a, a late night show then, it sounds like. Did you say late night show? <laughs> like, I don't know. You can be on my late night show if you want. I'll take it. All right. Thank you. Gray, uh, uh, gray Leno. Is he like a gray alien? Is that what you were going for? So he's a crossbreed. Okay. Okay. Topless Jay Leno. I like yes. it. Uh, that's, that's, that's the show. <laughs> Topless Jay uh, Leno is not a good thing. Okay. Well, while uh, the earlier contestants said they have a sob story, I actually happen to have all of them. I have every problem ever. Um, so I just think I've, I, if you want to have a, a story that's uh, passed to our viewers, I, I, can just, I can just talk for hours on that. But also, as I'm talking about all my problems, They'll be happy to know that at least they're looking at something good because I'm I'm ripped and I'm covered in massage oil. So you know I'm just shining this pack. You know, I'm saying oh oh woe is me, woe is I. But also look at my muscles. So that's cool, right? But also I'm actually just Aquaman because I come in with the fishes. And so wow. I would I would be in your uh, superhero reality TV show. Uh, thank you thank you for listening to me. Great, thank you for applying, uh, Mike. All right, so I'm going I don't, to, I don't know what kind of survival show that you're going to do, but I, I think that um, everybody loves a good, like, survival show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've got uh, survival skills. This is what I do. Like, if this is, you know, um, I go out in the, in the woods and I just drink my own piss uh, so in, you're, the, in the woods. You're more of a uh, piss drinker and less of a less Stroud, is what you're saying? Um, I would say like like that guy drank his own piss right so did Saul goodman who has it though yeah i mean like look dude i mean i don't know like about like surviving in the wilderness but if like i gotta drink my own piss like i got you covered okay survival okay. skills Good okay that involves <laughs> drinking a lot of piss now and that you that's because i've got conviction like i've got a ton of conviction i've got conviction to survive and i've got conviction to win I am going to be a serious contestant on this show. People are going to tune in week after week to watch me drink my own piss, right? Um, bank on that. Uh, and you know what, man? If we need to turn up the heat, if the ratings are a little bit low, I'll just start fucking eating the other contestants. <laughs> okay? Like, I will just eat their flesh straight up. Okay? I'm going to fucking win this thing. Like, people are definitely going to be tuning into this fucking show. Like, your ratings are going to go through the goddamn roof. And finally, uh, I'm saggy. But like the good, the, the, the good kind of saggy, like here's the thing. Kind. 
like when we get naked in this reality show because that's like what seems to happen all the time is people are getting naked like even vin is gonna fucking take his tits out so me okay i i fucking am saggy and what that does is that makes the audience like feel better about their own bodies they're like oh wow look at his saggy weird body i feel better about my body looking at that once so i'm gonna watch this again uh and look that makes this. people come back and watch that's what you're trying to get you're trying to get high ratings yeah. Yeah. these skills should demonstrate to you that i'm gonna get eyeballs on your network thank you mike, I can, I can mike the the saggy survivalist piss drinking cannibal <laughs> you, you <laughs> certainly a power a saggy and i really relate to the cannibalism you know the cannibal guy yeah i see it, yeah. I see it. all right you know? uh rev all right a lot of people say that they're made for a job you know people they're like oh i was made to be such and such i literally was i was genetically engineered to be a reality <laughs> tv star okay i'm a slut i will fuck my way through every contestant on any show i don't care what show we're doing i have a taint piercing <laughs> <laughs> and, and what type of show are you looking to be at? Fuck it, dude. Pick one. I'll fuck Anything. everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I will yeah. I will fuck him and then eat him like a praying mantis. <laughs> I'll fuck you first. I have a tank uh, piercing. You're gonna choke on it and die. <laughs> It'll be good television, but I'm genetically engineered for this job. I, I think I'm gonna have to go with the uh Genetically engineered slut, yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> oh my god. The taint piercing, uh, to me, is on the same level as deep treasure chocolate. Like, you can't... <laughs> you just see those two cards, and you're just like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. God, that was good. That was a good round. All right, I'm going to use the bathroom, okay? Sure. Right back. Okay. So I guess it's my turn to judge, right? And then I'm yeah. I'm the last one because this is two rounds. Yeah. I think two rounds feels right. Yeah, it's been an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah. So I mean that feels that feels appropriate. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. But the question though for that last character, Rev. Yeah. Was the was the the taint piercing part of the genetic engineering or was that a personal choice? Uh yeah, you know, I got it later, but it was, you know, it was a decision that was implanted in me during my genetic engineering. Oh I that see. I was going to get it. <laughs> you were you were <laughs> you were you were predisposed to get taint piercing in you to do to do it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I knew I needed to get one. Arthur C. Clarke's new novel, <laughs> genetically engineered, Slash with the tape piercing. <laughs> what was the fucking thing that I kept trying to sell Other when we window. played Snake Oil? How do you remember that so because quickly? Because chat comes in and chat, and every now and then they'll just say oven window for no fucking so reason. Sorry. My friend and oven window. Oh my god. <laughs> It was memorable. It's like it only became memorable chocolate. because I said it too many times. I, I you shouldn't have won that one, honestly. No, but it was so Pipe fucking butter. stupid that yeah. Hey, while Mike is pissed, let yeah. me take this opportunity to say you sh you guys, if anyone here has joined and is newly joined, um, congratulations first of all, but also you should consider donating to the charity, and uh, we will link that in chat right there you can always press exclamation point donate in chat and it'll bring up the link um it's it's to help people who are, are fleeing the conflict zone in ukraine it's uh going directly to refugees it's not going to the government or anything it, it's it's not guns and bombs it's food and medical aid so you don't have to worry about it making more war that's the whole point we're trying to make it not bad for people rather than mm -hmm. worse so um you know uh, close to 25k, dude. Did we like actually do that good? Like, where were we at? When we well, there was here? someone donated tw uh, $2,500. Someone by the name of Gridline. Oh yeah, just donated. That was They've like real that early that on, and like no. Oh, that was early on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they did it for both the other two that we did too. Um, the Halloween one and the Heart one. Like, I don't know who they are. <laughs> I've been trying to figure it out, but yeah, they they keep tossing in 2,500. Is pretty. Well, thank you. Thank you, Gridline. This is very much appreciated. 
Um, I see everybody one here too. Uh, in the, the no sh donation tracker that says, not much, but I'm glad I can help. Uh, a majority of these donations are going to be like 5 to like 20 bucks. Not everyone's a, a grid line that can drop $2,500. I fucking can't, you know? Um, but we're still making it to $24,000 right now, almost twenty five. So, like, everything counts. Everything helps. So don't feel bad. Like, don't don't not do it because you can't drop a huge, like, $2,000 donation or whatever. Everything yeah. is appreciated. Five, ten bucks is actually really helpful. I mean, that's that's the average anyway, so. Right, exactly. You know, if everyone in this chat gives five bucks, that's, like, $10,000? Can I do math? Who knows? Probably not. Well... It's it's five times two thousand, yeah. so that would be uh, ten thousand. You got it. Cool, well got done. It. That, yeah, I did awesome. math, guys. And quickly too. That's worth quickly. A, that's worth a donation. <laughs> the math. The math is worth the donation. <laughs> yeah, math genius moment. Some quick maths. Some rev maths. I'm back, by the way. Anyway, Welcome back. Uh, are are you ready to find out who you have to be? Draw your cards, everybody, and then I will tell you. Oops. 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 Yeah, that's the that. last one. There we go. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so I need a supervillain. So best Ooh. applicant for supervillain oh. gets the, the Shrek. Now, this is a big round, and I have to determine whether or not I would like to give up my lead. And I will be honest, and I will be fair. And if someone can be the best supervillain and win this game, do it. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? It's going to be a good one. It almost nice, works. Nice it's, it's, sound it's, it's it's <laughs> it's so muted. On yeah, Discord. It doesn't do the full thing. It's, it's supposed to yeah, be an Among Us it, thing, but it's I don't just know a if wood it, block. Is, is there supposed to be like a bunch of low end on that sound effect or yeah, something? Yeah, because it's just okay. A... Okay. Okay. Not just even like, hearing it. Just, I, I, Discord man. is so bad. Like it's Discord very quiet. Just, Discord cut off my my beautiful whale noises. Very upset about it. All right. I say we do a little uh, flash goal here uh, okay. of some kind. Um, if we get to... 25K um, is the next big, big milestone. If we get to 25K, what, what could we... What That's could be five like? more dollars. That's not really... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Wait, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, we just made it, so never mind. Yeah, we just did it, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks, guys. Uh, Thank the goal guys. was uh, was met. Nice. Cool. Oh, that, that was easy. So that's um, cool. That means we'll play snake oil after this. Cool. Was that what you was that what was said? That we would we would No, he, oh, no that's, we're just, that's what you were going to anyway. say. So now we're going to do yeah. that. No, that was totally what was what was what was said. Yeah, yeah. Good job, guys. Cool. Make Post Vinny moves. play P War. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I have it. I own it. I will. I don't know when. I don't no. want to, but I will. Is it is it like the sequ sequel to Tech War? Oh. Uh, Hi, my name is William Shatner. Welcome to William Shatner's William Shatner's P War. <laughs> Dude. Welcome to William's Shatner. It's 26 26k in the next hour of Vinge streams P War. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think, I, I, that? I will I will do that. That's fine. It's it's, can, it's his thing, so I you know. Can I'll do it. I just say that game is horribly optimized like i've, I've oh, got a fairly it's, decent it's, it's computer now yes. you want to turn all the settings down before you try and play it because when i tried to stream it the first time it was literally like three frames per second for them and the delay got up to like two minutes i can stream elden ring full graphics just fine but p war <laughs> p war is a oh, fucking no. problem what a that's the, a, the benchmark beast, for G man. gpu benchmark p war <laughs> yeah can it run p war <laughs> can you all can right. it run p war <laughs> All right, the so of the twenty first century. Are we all ready for supervillain? Yeah. yeah. Make sure yeah. you turn off the sun shards. <laughs> yeah. No, go all into right. the when you play it, go in the options, and you'll see. You'll you'll see. Okay. Yeah. So great, Zot. I am in need of a supervillain, okay. as I am a super mastermind 
but I need a supervillain. So tell me, how can you fill this position? Well, I'm kind of a conundrum, as you see, because I'm, I'm able to fit in tight quarters, but I also have a lot of room to grow. So I'm, I'm a paradox man, you see. Uh -huh. um, but I, I also don't have a soul, so I don't give a shit what I do. I'm not going anywhere good when I die. And But also, on top of that, I can predict any superhero's movements through my magical crystal ball. Please pick me. Wow. <laughs> All right, Paradox Man, that was very interesting, and it's good. Being soulless is definitely a part of this job. Well done. So, Mike, tell me about your position of supervillain. How do you how do you intend to become the supervillain I I'm looking for? <laughs> well, you see, what I'll do is I'll lure them in with my nice things, like my beautiful <laughs> like my beautiful snatch. <laughs> 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 oh, and then I will use my skills of being a pathological liar to further lull them into a false sense of security before I hit them with my hocus pocus. <laughs> I want to run under my spell. There, with the A, my boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Choose me. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. That is a very interesting supervillain voice and a good pitch. Thank you. Rev Scarecrow, Yeah, are you the supervillain I've been looking for my yes, whole life? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And you know why? I already have a banger name. Captain Jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. do violence. My kryptonite, my comb over. My quest, <laughs> my thing that gets me going through the day, bitches. And I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. There's more of that rev blunt sense of humor. Mo motivation. Bitches. <laughs> Amazing. That is oh god. All right. Thank you, Rev. Ca You're I mean welcome. Captain Jack Hammer, thank you. Giromatic, how can you be the supervillain I'm looking for? Uh, I I will tell you. Um every good supervillain needs a good supervillain outfit. It's the iconic part, their visuals. Uh my outfit is just fishnet stockings nothing else okay <laughs> just fishnet stockings right uh which goes okay. great in the opium dens that i own and operate um which <laughs> is my my main source of income and uh my my base uh my where i defend my 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 homestead um and every good villain needs a flaw that's what makes him a villain mine is my lisped british accent <laughs> <laughs> Can, can you yes. give can you give it a sample? No. <laughs> how, how, does a superhero, now, how does a superhero stop you if they know your weakness is the lisp lisped British no, no. accent? That's Do what they just make fun of you. Me? But that is not what brings me down. Um it would be clothing to cover up my fishnet stockings. I see. Understood. Got it. Okay. Oh man, this is tough. Um God, uh okay, so you know, it for me, I'm going to say that Rev had the funniest delivery and you have the best villain name. It's a good name. Um, and, you know, I'm sorry about the comb over, but you get bitches. I still get bitches, so it's not that big of a deal. Right. Mike, you had the voice. You lure them in with nice things and you snatch and then you lie and you get them in the hocus pocus. I got to say, it's between you two and... Um, He's maidenless, though. I, I can't I can't really choose because they're both really good. So I'm gonna give a half Shrek each, which ends us in a in a tie. Me and Rev win. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Honestly, you could, though, you could have just yeah. like made yourself win, basically. <laughs> I give yeah, it to yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah but, I'm, it. but I'm tying with Rev because it's his channel and because Got he it. had a good pitch. So Got I'm gonna say that. Point. I, I win along with Rev. Well done, Rev and me. Good, good job, Benny. Great job. <laughs> you win. Congrats. Sure. Why not? Rev, that was that was funny. But Mike, that pitch was good. The voice was good. The Zot, voice was you're very soulless. Good. You gotta say, you all of you had some good stuff. And Gear, you made me laugh too. So very good pitches, everybody. This was a lot of fun. Uh I was like trying to be gr grunty from, from Banjo kazooie basically. She does have a nice snatch. That's what I've oh, heard, no. especially oh. if you get the if you get the bad ending. Mm. 
you know about that bad ending, right? Oh, I yeah. don't know. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, well, you got to find out, bro. Okay. You got to find I will out need like a moment. yesterday. I'll be right back. Okay. He's going to look at the bad ending. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an unfortunate time to go take a break. Yeah. <laughs> uh, permission to flip the table? Uh, uh, permission granted for me. Yeah, Rev, go it's, for it's, it. It's your table, Rev. It's your, yeah, no. Yeah, great yeah. Go for it. Try. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. You can actually do it? <laughs> what you didn't think? I didn't think without permissions you were able to. Uh, so we got uh, we got snake oil. Ignore all the Warhammer bad, stuff; it's very legal. Whoop, what the hell was that? Someone attempting to flip the table. Not an existing re table. Reflip. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna go get uh, a glass of water. Okay. Because so, I'm gonna be streaming a lot tonight, so I gotta like get, gotta keep my, my laryngitis my laryngitis lubricated. Okay. Moist laryngitis. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Be right back. I am back. Welcome back. Oh, we got the he's back six up table this time. Back in the New York group. Oh God, both me and Mike. Oh right, we're in the desert spot. again. Yeah, we're yeah. Jesse and and uh. Yeah. Well, so Rev, we played this a little weird last time. So it's six Did I cards. Play it wrong? Okay. Um, the customer may cut off any pitch that goes over thirty seconds. So again, I th I think I, I I'm okay with us not timing this as okay. long as we're all concise. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. It's just the the cards being okay. uh six. And I guess first to three wins. Uh, sure, that sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna the, uh, I'm gonna piss. Version while Mike's out. Oh yeah, would you mind explaining the rules so that way everyone sure. knows? So, it's the same shit. So here's what happens. Um, it's the same kind of game. Let's say you draw this card, right? Um, you gear. Let's say you are either you could flip it a ninja or a superhero. It's your choice. Okay. So say you're a superhero. Then I have six cards, and I have to use two to make the best pitch possible to sell you a superhero on these products. So, for example, you're a superhero, and I am... Um, I'm going to sell you a war vest. Oh. All right, and I'm going to use my pitch. I'm going to mm. say, hey, you know what, Gear? You being a superhero, you need armor you need something to get you protected out in the battlefield you need this war vest here's what it can do here's why it's good for you that's my pitch and then we do that we go around like we did the previous game mm -hmm. and if uh you like my pitch the best you give me the card and uh yeah and that's it that's pretty much it this okay. table is too small for this when um when does the oven window come in <laughs> That's, that's a little later. Oh, okay. Yeah. It does say we can change the table. I just I don't know how. Inflate table. Yeah, can we inflate the table? I mean, we could also, yeah, we could shrink the cards, too. <laughs> that's probably easier than inflating the table. No. I'm fine. Um, All right, I'm I need, back. Can I Can I hear that sound again? Is there any chance I could hear it again? That was a cough, so... Well, what, what did you did you put it through some kind of filter? Like, why did it sound like a, like a duck getting slammed in a cash register? No, here I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> That's just what Vinny sounds like. Says the chef yeah. member. Yeah. That's a good turkey. It is. All right, so I think um, we're all ready to go. I think we're, we're all back, back. And ready. Uh, we're all... Is Rev back? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm I, here. Yeah. yeah, Rev, this table is too small. Can we can we figure that out? Uh, yeah, I can make it bigger. And biggin. Uh, Ooh. I shrank the cards a little bit too. If we like Rev. this. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh yeah. I'm gonna okay. like sit a little bit farther away from you because I feel uncomfortably close to everyone now. That's fine. It's the same order as before, too. I like that. 
make the table like as long as possible I and just go seat yourself all the way on the other end of it um like stretch um, the table like you know, i can make it a poker table which would be like, weird i'm okay with this 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 is fine yeah yeah no how do we choose who does the do you want to do that thing again yeah. Rev, with the pawn and the okay. uh yeah let me pull that out i saved it for that reason so whoever draws the king goes first. Ah, uh, all right. So it's gear. Okay, so gear, and then we go around my way. So well, I, I get to so, be the ninja. First. So you take, you take, um, you shuffle. Yeah, press. Uh, shuffle is which button? R. 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 Yeah. All right. So first things first. Everybody draws six cards, or whoever's Four, drawing for us. Five, That's fine. Six. There you go. Right now, you need to put together. A pitch based on two of those cards all right so now gear you get to choose any one of those just shuffle and choose one on top and you can be the one the green or the blue side that's up to you two cards though right you can either be a for nurse us or two F cards yeah okay a nurse okay. or a teacher so you guys i have to choose which one or you guys yeah can you choose you, 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 which choo one you choose whatever. one that you like uh oh, let's do nurse of course uh, is, is, okay, I have a kind of a strange question, Rev. Is there a way to turn the cards horizontal, uh, vertically, so I can actually? I really read them? hate the orientation Q, that they. Q and E. Yeah, Q. you can also scroll. Oh, wheel thank you, thank you. Um, scroll wheel yeah. do it in increments of fifteen percent. You can change it at the top too. Yes. Rotation degrees. Actually, I'm gonna change mine to ninety. Except Zot makes his all squiggly, and then <laughs> nothing's gonna be on square anymore. I have one card that's bigger than the others. That's weird. Wait, no, they're all different sizes. <laughs> okay. I think I shrunk and, and made some bigger while they weren't all together. Because they were a little small for this table. <clears throat> this is... Wow. I, I, have, I have the best pitch. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm guessing that uh, if we're all ready to go, I'll, I'll start with Oh, that. my God. Um, this is going to... Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. It's 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 spy, dude. Nurse. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. I was just fucking. I was still messing around with the cards. I'm sorry. Sure, you're good. Um, Why don't we do this? Why don't we move these? Oh, can we move the stacks? The whole, the whole stacks. Yeah. You just move have to like there. hold it a little longer. Yeah. And yeah. We'll put yeah. The, the cards. I like that. Longer, you know. I like that. We don't need to access the draw pile that often. Yeah. I mean, we're not physical people, so we can just like fly over there and grab it. You can play um, this in VR. I don't know how it is. I wouldn't recommend it. It's interesting. I would imagine with the lag, it would be uh, kind of gross. <laughs> I think the hardest part is the controls, personally. I mean, I, oh, I only in buy, VR. So, yeah, so grabbing things in VR is a little weird, but maybe if you had the index or like the hand, it'd be a little bit easier. I'm not sure. I see. Oh, I'd okay. love to play um, a like that. I think I'm ready. Yeah, just Everyone put your cards good? out face down when you're when you have them. Oh, man, this is going to be ass. Yep. Um, am I doing it from your point of view or my point of view, Vin? So you say, you know, basically you're like, all right, Vin, you're up. Well, can you uh, sell I mean, me? Something like that, you know? The cards are not, they're oriented a certain way. I'm guessing I have to be oh. looking from your side. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't really uh, matter because I'm going to see them. This away. Okay. Oh, so. right. There is. Okay. Um, all right. So, work so regardless. Vin, why don't you go ahead. Okay, so you're a nurse, which means that you have a busy life. You have a lot of things that you need to do to maintain health of others and yourself, which is why you need Pajama Pipe. Pajama Pipe is the best <laughs> product that you could have. Um, I, I don't know what it does. <laughs> is this like a tobacco product or is it to air out my pajamas? Like I don't know. <laughs> Good pitch. Okay, <laughs> okay <Next>. Mike. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, you're a nurse and you, you got a lot of doors you got to open up and all the, with all the patients that you, you serve. So you can't, oh, I got all these keys. What am I going to do with all these keys? I, I got to go to this patient room. Got to go to the, the, the drug closet. Oh God, so many keys. Keep them in a key book. Key chamber. Just by a book of keys. Good song. And by good song. Oh, I mean first bad. round is trash round. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's getting rid of Mike. our shit. <laughs> You ready? Yeah, what you got? Let's face it. You're a nurse, and you need a way to get rid of disease. 
Introducing the disease burp. You <laughs> make make them burp, and then the disease comes right out of their body. It's easy. It's fast. It's convenient. It's simple, and you could be home in in time for for supper with the disease burp. Buy Trust now, me. and you get two for the price of one. Might be an easy makes, way to catch a disease. Makes people burp. No, they don't get. No, it's contained in the burp. It's, Okay. That's right. Uh, right. So here's the thing. As medical technology gets better and better, we eventually are going to cure all the diseases, all of the problems in the world. And that sounds like a good thing, but then you're out of a job. What do you do? Introducing Hell War. <laughs> what? It, with Hell War, there'll be endless supplies of people to be treated as you, as a nurse, so you won't be fired because of no one having any problems to cure. Hell war. Okay, his sounds like he's causing more problems. I am offering you the ability to burp out cancer. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that cancer is already going to get solved. You don't need to deal with that. You need to be able to keep your job. Yeah, but your way of dealing with game. cancer is, is death. Yeah. Like on a wide yeah, scale. It, like it it's death. the other side of the coin. You have someone who's curing problems. You got to have problems in order to actually have them cured. Uh, yeah, first round he shit round, I can point. see. <laughs> uh, yep. uh, I think Hell War, as, as much as it sounds like a good prospect, kind of goes against the Hippocratic Oath of not wanting to cause more issues. Um, uh, it is sort of the opposite of that, yeah. Yeah. Pajama pants, uh, pajama pipe, excuse me, kind of sounds like something that you would have, like, installed as, like, a butt flap to, like, air out when you <laughs> fart. Um, but that doesn't, I don't think it helps a nurse. Um... Long shifts. Burp yeah. Sounds interesting, but I don't. Not sure how that would uh, how that would work and and not be contagious if they're just being burped out. Um, and keybook is just kind of lame. So yeah, what the fuck was oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do, right? <laughs> um, uh, don't fucking <laughs> no, open window this shit. Get the fuck out of here, Vinny. Going. I it, am offering you something that, like, at least has something to do with your profession. I'm offering Whereas you the rest without of them end. Do not. The rest of them do not. Okay, in, I, in, disease burps is is in in your wheelhouse at least. In a fantasy world, if we could have diseases burped out and not spread to other people, that would be what I would want as a nurse. So okay. I'll give it to Mike. Fine. Yeah, Thank but think you. about the rhythm of pajama pipe. You go. It sounds like a cool pipe. product, just not for a nurse. Pajama it's more pipe. for like the alcoholic from the last game. You know, there's how do you, how do you consolidate the cards properly? Um, drag on top of each other. Good. Vin is writing like the pajama pipe jingle right now. Yeah, it was. I had a good jingle. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck the product is, but I had a good jingle. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the game. Uh, keep, keep, well, uh, we need our Shreks. Whoops. Did, okay. Who sorry. has the Shreks? Um, oh. I'll drop oh, a Shrek. Yeah, Shrek. We gotta do a smaller Shrek. Oh, wait. Okay, you Mike, want you smaller keep, Shreks? Want... Oh, I keep that. Right. Yeah, you want to keep you that. Unless you want to do Shreks. I mean, we well, can do either one. Here, let me... Uh, let me uh... oh, I, I, I do enjoy my especially wide Shreks. If you're not going to give me a wide Shrek, then I don't want one. Okay. All right, can, can I offer you... We've done wide Shrek. What about thin, uh, thin uh, long Shrek? Yeah. Are you, you know what? Are you into wide that... Shrek? Or... <laughs> you, know you know what? Yeah, good. You sold me. I'll take one. Okay. <laughs> I like how he's Pajama catering pipe. dangerously. Pajama pipe. Can't balance. Pajama Dude, he looks, he, he looks like... Pipe. <laughs> Here you go. Have a thin Shrek. He, he's like an Attack on Titan Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Colossal Shrek. He's horrifying and imposing. Yeah. All right. Then he chose the cowboy. Yeah. So you... Need the, to sell me a okay. product that a uh, cowboy would enjoy. The, the oh, okay. okay. The the pajama pipe like is it waterproof? Um, no, but it, in the theme song, you can have the drum, the percussion go. Because it's pajama pipe, pajama pipe. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you can use this the consonants of the of the words to create the rhythm. It's it sings itself. I get I get what you're saying. Uh, it's it's a musical mind at work, but. I was thinking about the product itself. Oh, I don't know anything about that product. Because if if it's like kind of like I'm a just the PR agency. I'm just the PR agency. I don't know. I've not made the product or used it. 
The pipe goes from like the poop because Z said it's like a poop flap. Uh, fucking why? Gear said it's like a poop flap. So I think that oh. it, you could use it to like if you wear it in the sh in the in the bathtub, you could like theoretically poop in the bathtub, and if the pipe will take the poop like out into yeah, the it house, just like, like angles the towards the toilet. That's what I'm saying. Like and it, it goes maybe straight up your ass. So when you poop, it's like it's like Play-Doh going through one of those things. Yeah, he I literally it. could not think of a single thing that that thing would do, and I had nothing else that was appropriate for a nurse. <laughs> pajama pipe. Pipe. Pajama pipe. Pajama pipe. Pajama pipe. <laughs> I'm just thinking so, of the, uh, like, the bank teller like pipes that send, that send like through the pneumatic tubes. It either, either takes your poo away or sends you a new pair of pajamas. <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Take my poop away. <laughs> da, da, da. Pajama pipe. Da, da, da. Da, da. It is catchy, dude. Da, da, da. All right. Well, 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 well. Um, is everyone ready for for a cowboy? Mike needs nope. to yeah. be ready. Absolutely not. Not even. Okay. Not even close. Go. Cool. Man, if only I had pipe butter again. Um, <laughs> pipe butter was a good one. Um, Rev, what was yours that you had to that you friend. did in in relation to the downstairs mix up? Oh God, I don't remember what the downstairs mix up. No, was. that was B uh, B B flip. <laughs> B flip. B flip. Bush lip. Bush lip. Bush 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 lip. Bush bush lip. lip. Yeah, but... Okay. <laughs> it reminded me of the beginning of Jitterbug, the pajama pipe. That yeah, you it's saw. got Jitterbug. Got the Jitterbug. Pajama pipe. Got the pajama pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Jamma pipe. Do you remember you those lie? ads for uh, the, the <laughs> like pants. cell phones for Dude. old people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I yeah. I seen that. It sucks. Big old buttons on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, he turned over the cards and he went. He he went. Bush lip. A new pair for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sometimes less right. is more. Yeah. All right. So so Zot, why don't we um why don't we begin? I'm a cowboy. Sure. What what can you sell me? Sure. Um, I see that you are a, a, a cow wrangling, uh, rootin' tootin', sh shootin' cowboy. Uh, and if you want the, my newest wares from my collection, I would like to introduce you to the tank hat. No longer will you need your revolvers by your side, with which you can fire high power artillery from your very own cowboy hat. Shoot <laughs> down those those cow wrestlers with <laughs> thirty five millimeter shells. It's yours today. <laughs> That's it. I got it to take cat, dude. <laughs> That's so right. Thank you. That's very good. <laughs> Someone in chat posted a, a good uh, copy pasta for Rev. Howdy there, cowpoke. It's me, Rev Scarecrow. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming to my Twitch. All you. right, now. Get along now, little doggy. Get a dog, little doggy. <laughs> Yo, come back now. You hear Yahoo? Yahoo! He, you gotta he really get into that. Yahoo. I say that all of the time. He does. He that, does. That's he just like it's practically my saying, catchphrase. Saying that. It's like how Vince says bonerific all the time, and you can't get all the time, top. bro. That's all my the time. It's just like that. Can't Thank stop you, Zod, that, that, saying that seems that seems very useful for uh, one of those Red Dead Redemption Two raids on some like weird, you know, like yeah. factory. So I appreciate that product. Thank you. Uh, Mike, what is your product for me? All right, uh, let's face it. You know, you're a cowboy, right? You're out in the in the, the Serengeti or wherever cowboys hang out, right? And you're lassoing some water buffalo, or whatever the hell cowboys uh -huh. do, and you need to poop. Well, boy, howdy, do I have you covered, right? Why isn't it? What are you gonna do? You're gonna just go like pop a squat in the bush every time you gotta squeeze one out? Nope. Uh, introducing the. Uh, Toilet child. No, oh my God. I'm telling you, oh. a little, little kid who walks oh, around. No, and <laughs> he's got a he's got a toilet. He's got a toilet. He carries it around, <laughs> and um, as you you don't even have to get off your horse, right? You fuck let loose, and he catches the turds in his little toilet. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not really think about the implications of this when yeah. I put the cards down. <laughs> yeah. um, but I'm gonna okay, okay. Let me just back it up for a second, and with the caveat that this is not slavery. This is not okay. He is a um, it's voluntary. It's not slavery. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. It's totally ethical. You're allowed. You're allowed to do it. It's, a, You're it's, a it's allowed. Service. It's yeah, it's, it's a, not weird. So it's like it's a a poop, right. poop intern. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's not, all right. It's not slavery. It's above board. It's not even weird. He doesn't watch the the poop come out of your butthole okay. or anything. He looks the other way. He's got like a cute little blindfold. He doesn't see it, but he's he, he's okay, good th- at what he does. You. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm, I'm sorry that you should buy this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he enjoys. Thank it. you. It's a very useful product. He Thank you, Rev. It. Um, <laughs> unlike a thing that you have to say, it's not slavery and. It's legal. Um, one problem that cowboys have is that they'll be they, you'll be in town, and then a damsel will get captured by the bad guy, right? And then he'll tie her up to the train tracks, and you got this huge problem because it's a race against time to get her off the tracks. What if? What if you could replace her with a doll net? So it looks like a damsel. It acts like a damsel, but as soon as he goes to capture her, bam, netted. And then you don't even have to do anything. You just go and get him, and then you throw him in jail. Job done. Cut that movie in half. Wow. All right. Okay. I see that there's a lot of useful products for a cowboy on the board, but Gear, what do you have for me? Sure. What do cowboys and Spider-Man have in common? <laughs> <laughs> This is a question that we've all, all been thinking about, I know. I've been thinking about this for a long time, partner. I don't know. <laughs> they both are rope heroes. And what? <laughs> where they combine is this is a superpower for you. Nope. <laughs> Skin string. You can shoot <laughs> rope out of your arms and your hands to capture the cows that are running away. <laughs> Well, you know when you bite your nails and there's that little bit of skin that like gets peeled no, off and you start that. healing no, it. Yeah. Oh just, no, yeah, God, yeah, no, yeah. God, yeah. no, ever, no, never, never, it never. For me. Stop. No, that sounds great. I just want to reiterate yeah. that that mine is not slavery. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, partner. Uh, well, I gotta say, all of these are useful for Big different gal. types of cowboying, but if you look at the cowboy card here, there's a rope. Okay, now that is a bit of a strange rope hero, if I do say so myself. I'm going to have to give it to Gear. Okay. I enjoyed the pitch, oh, yeah. and I want to be a Spider-Man cowboy. Thank you. Thank you. There's your I, weird I, thought, I thought Rev won like 100%. Rev was so close. I, I, so close. Do we or, recycle our cards or just draw new? Uh, draw. You keep you, uh, you, the four that you didn't use. Gotcha. Yeah, so you're going to end up with some cards that are maybe going to stick with you the whole time. Sometimes you, you just need scummy. to do a ditch round where you just like, fuck it, dude. Like, whatever. Yeah. So, so I'm taking this card then? Um, yeah, you the can shuffle card. a bunch Whichever, of times by pressing you R, and then you can pick either the red or the blue side or the green side. Okay, press. so I can shuffle this right now? Yeah, hit R. Oh, okay, okay. And then press 1, and you'll get the top one. Oh. Okay, Un- understood, understood. You Sorry, I, drag I'm fast. broad broadly... Don't know what I'm doing. Okay. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Taxi driver, fashion model. Taxi oh, driver. Blank for me. Just, uh, just blank. Uh, yeah, it's blank. How did I do that? I don't know. For me, That's it says weird. taxi driver. No, it's blank for me. It's just blank. Put it, put it in your deck model. and then pull it back out. Okay. There and go. now it's good. Okay. So, fashion um, model you're doing? Yeah, or... we're doing fashion model. Okay. What what products do you have to sell to a up and coming fashion model, a well established fashion model? Hmm. And as you're thinking about this, I'm curious, mm-hmm. chat. I, I was going to posit a question to chat and in, in the in the panel here. As you're growing up, and if you you're over the the television generation, you know that's kind of it's kind of going away now, you know, with ads and everything. But like late night made for TV television ads, what product or or advertisement is seared into your brain? Mine is still the the juicer with the guy with the really big white eyebrows, the carrot juicer one. I don't know if you know Billy what Billy Mays. About. Mine was Girls Gone Wild, I think. <laughs> Slap chop. No, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Girls Gone Wild. That was a. Uh, those were some advertisements. They they didn't I, fuck around with that. They they, they played those. Go. The hand panda OST. 
yes. of uh, of those commercials. Da, 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 da. You know what I really liked, man? The um, what? all the like classic rock and like and like disco um fucking compilation oh. CDs that oh, they yeah. used to smell. Because no, I found I some music. I found some of my favorite songs and bands from just from hearing that when I was a kid. Like eventually, I would I would grow up and be like, oh, that was them. I like that, you know. Like, I, I feel like those those commercials, like, it kind of started to peak, like, my taste in music in a lot of ways. Is that, I don't know, that maybe that's strange. That's pretty cool. Truth. No, that, that's was, that's awesome. Remember, was the there one? was one CD that was advertised where um, I remember REM. This one goes out to the one I, Dude, I remember love. That, uh-huh. that yeah. one was, I remember seeing that on all the yeah. time. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same. And I was like, I like that song. What is that? You know? Yeah, I'm, rem- I'm reminded of that rainbow drawing tablet thing that was a big scam. It was like you could you could draw these this on this blackboard, and so it's, it's it's rainbows on it, and it was just like the actual product is just like goop that you press around on a flat board, and it reveals rainbow yeah. colors. I, I don't know what you, uh, that thing was called. I vaguely but... remember this. Oh, I do. Yeah, I remember zoo books. I remember the Shirley Temple box set. Yeah. Muzzy, muzzy, motherfucking muzzy. muzzy. Yeah. Uh, Fushi. It was like a monster doing French, yeah. and it was like, oh, this is weird. It it always looked like it was from this. I mean, it was from the seventies, and it kind of was yeah. like scary. It was a little scary, yeah. It was like not attractive as like a, a prospect as a child. Like I, I wasn't asking well, my parents, like I want muzzy, you know. They were advertising right. to your parents, not you though, and your parents. I know, but like you, I'm, you know? but yeah. also like the the children being able to just be like mom i want that is incredibly useful yeah um well enough talk about uh commercials of old let's let's think about what products you can sell to our up and coming fashion model mike please uh let us know what product you have to sell today at your let's leisure face it you're a fashion model right you gotta have a, a good tan going don't you right um so let me introduce to you limited time all for the sun cannon all right forget about tanning beds <laughs> this thing just blasts a concentrated dose of uv rays into your body all in one fucking lump sum straight to your body like you don't have to sit it takes seconds and you only get a little bit of cancer and if you do get just cancer, a little bit you can just, just a little bit of cancer, Stan. You can use our patented disease burp to burp that cancer right out. Oh, of I see. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, right. uh, the so, family of products you are selling today. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's the, the sun. extended universe. Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. jabroni acme tonight. You know? <laughs> the oh, sun mental. cannon. Th- thank you, uh, Mike, representative mm-hmm. of... Uh, I don't know what company you work for, but anyway. Jabroni acne. Jabroni it's a co- acne. Oh, I have a tagline. Hold on. It's a coronal mass ejaculation. Wow. That is uh, wow. not entirely unexpected from you. Yeah, those are those are words you could say. <laughs> you shouldn't have, but you could say them. On, on the about page for the website, it's just that those words and then no. nothing else. No like CEO information or anything. Okay. Uh, Rev, yeah. you have a product for a fashion model. I'd like yeah. to hear it and see what you got. You already got good clothing. You already got good makeup. But you know what makes a, a person attractive? Afterglow. Slide box. <laughs> just think about it. It's like this. It's like that. You hear it? <laughs> that's that's how that's how your downstairs mix up works now. Yeah, but the downstairs mix up. Again. Oh. Again. Oh. Jesus. It's always a treat when Rev says downstairs mix up. Uh okay. Well all it's right. It's just like uh, in and out real smooth. You'll get the job done yeah. quick. No, I get it. No, I, I'm, I'm making neuron connections of what you're you're, you're throwing at me. Okay, uh, gear. Let, let's see what product, what product sure. you got. Fashion uh, model. I mean, uh, it's in the name. Fashion. They're all about clothing. It's all about what new, interesting, and unique piece of clothing you can bring to the table. Um, this piece of clothing will reveal something that many people are into. Um, and that uh, maybe is a little private to you, but maybe you're willing to share. Um, it is the window boots, so people can see your feet. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh! So if I might, I, I, can, I can see that getting trendy. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, I'd like to make a movie about it. Sure. 
I, I make, if I may make an inquiry on the window boots real quick, are those boots that are just happen to be clear so you can see the feet? No, there's windows on the sides so you can see. You can see through. Yeah, oh. I, guess, I guess yes, like, but they're not all boots clear. Already it, it, I'm, I'm, trying to the I'm trying to visualize this. Is it like a trap door that you open up from the bottom or is it like a side swinging door? That's what I'm curious about, you know? No, there are windows on the side. Like imagine, um, you know, the, the big boots where people used to have like goldfish in the bottom? It's like yeah. that, except you could see your feet instead. Like toe cleavage. Yeah, I mean, there would be some. I feel like, like you're just sandals. describing sandals. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Your feet are encased in it. And the top is not transparent. The sides are transparent. The bottom is not transparent either. It's only the sides you can see. It's just the bay the windows window. on your boots. Okay. Yeah. All right. Th th thank you. Uh, Vin, you're our, our last uh, yeah. uh, product shill. I'd like to hear what you have for well, a, a fashion model customer. You know, I have exactly what you need because I know that hairstyles are a huge part of the fashion model thing. And Correct. you also want to look like royalty. How can we do that? Well, I have just the way. It is the crown wig. It looks exactly like a crown. So you can look like royalty. Whatever. You get the idea. It's a crown wig. Enjoy. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, looking at the available products that have been shown to me today. There are a lot of options. A, that is correct. There are, there are a lot of options. <laughs> and when I'm thinking about what I need as a fashion model in my day to day, I'm <laughs> I'm looking at Slidebox and I'm thinking, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? But uh, fuck it, fuck. I think I think that's I think what I'm gonna go to have, to, have to go with the Sun Cannon because I'm just I'm <laughs> thinking about like Hyper Beam yes. from a Pokemon <laughs> and just like the charge up noise <laughs> and that being blasted at like <laughs> a model. It's like yeah, but just get Gyarados to vomit <laughs> on you. We yeah. just get Gyarados. To... <laughs> yeah, I just, I just didn't, I, I wasn't feeling it. But I, I, I figured like when you go last, sometimes you're just like, oh yeah, there's no way, <laughs> there's yeah. no way I'm competing with some of this. Uh, it's Mike next. Yeah, yeah just one second of UV, Drake. Just one, and you're, you're good to go for, for, for life. For life. Uh, all right, so I got to draw up one of these yeah, bad boys Yeah, just right hit here. R until you're good with it. Uh, or you can pick point. Teenager if you want. I'm just going to do it and randomly. And you can either pick that, that one or right. the other one. Uh, all right, so I think the actually the last time I got this card, I had the same choice the last time we streamed this. Yeah. Uh, and you're I picked Executioner, so this time I will pick Rapper. Okay. All right. So, um... Before I had to like you know judge how good of a singer you were you were gonna be. Now I gotta see how good you spit rhymes. So you know get um get ready to to, to stomp the yard or, or whatever. Oh man, you clearly know the terminology. I sure do. Mom, spaghetti, let's go. Zod, are you gonna uh, compose a rap for us this time? I could I could try. I, I, I want to hear your flow on the 444 with Harrison Ford under the floorboards. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you quoting? What is that? Some dumb shit. <laughs> Morpheus? Don't worry about it. Morpheus. Dorpheus? You got the flow, though. He's got the flow. I hear the flow. You hear the flow, chat? You hear it? I, Wait, is I someone peeing? They... Someone's no, peeing. No, no one's peeing. Um. Mm -mm. <laughs> Do you hear this? Oh, I don't want that. Yes. Yeah, I heard that. I don't what, want what that. What did it it's sound a... like to you? Nope. I don't it want a guy that. Saying... Yeah, but I barely yeah. heard it. The, it the no sacred. is like weird. How about now? If I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise the volume. Tell me if you can hear it now. Oh, I don't want that. It's the no that's kind of hard to hear. Still okay. It like Got doesn't it. Yeah. have enough time to like get in there. Okay. Mike doesn't know about Pumpkinland 2008? No, I don't want that. It's a pumpkin dude that... It's a game. That's and, honestly and the best part pumpkin. of that game. Is that one scene. Um, um, are we good to go? I'm ready, yeah. Yeah. All right. Mike, you ready for this? I'm ready for your funky fresh beats, bro. Okay, I, I don't need to give you funky fresh beats because that's that's what you do. You're a rapper. You you don't need to be stealing rhymes off of me. But oh yeah, I got confused. You're right. Yeah, you're okay. right. Yeah, but yeah. 
uh, you want know what you do need? A solid exactly. nightlife scene in your town. Hmm. Okay? Without hmm. that, where are you going to go? You're going to do daytime rapping? That's weird. Have you ever heard someone go outside and just start rapping on a sunny spring day? Fucking bizarre, dude. Don't do that. Have a nightlife. Uh, all right. I mean, I, I want to know how, like, the logistics of you selling me, like, an entire scene and, and like, like a concept. You're selling me a concept. I'm selling you like, the I... concept of going out at night. Yeah. Um. I have the, the, the legal rights to going out at night. Oh, okay. What if I just... All right, all right, you, all right. You thank want, you. You want to try and do shit during the night? You're going to have to pay me. So it's better to, like, be on this rather than being one of those bargain bin basement bullshit rappers who does like daytime shows you know you know who dudes daytime rapping the wiggles okay well you know what you are actually you you tanked your pitch because my rapping my rapping name is sunny delight and i only rap in the sun in Mental. fact i rap on the sun in a music video because that's how much i love fucking uv rays yeah but and wouldn't it be nicer to be on the hydrogen. sun when it was night so that way it wouldn't be so bright out isn't that like Smash Mouth have a song about like walking on the sun? Yeah. That is where we walk. Yeah, it always comes me. back to Smash Mouth when I play yeah. games with Rev. Yeah. Remember when Smash Mouth told Rev he has a small penis? And remember when they got ratioed so hard that Rev they had to get rid of their front man? Them. <laughs> and they have a completely new front man now? <laughs> Wait, yeah. do they? Yeah. No. The, the old dude's gone, dude. He's He was a mess. He, he was, was a, a mess. hot mess he, of a human. He, like, yeah. doing some crazy shit on do stage. Do you think Craziness. He was do you think he was the douchebag right? like who was running the social media? Uh, I don't know. There's a good chance then. There's right? a good chance. Yeah, or at least whoever was running it is no longer running is it. it anymore well, if so they have Guy Fieri lip sync, it would like it'd be like no one actually left. <laughs> yeah, no one would know. The new guy looks like someone who would be in like a metalcore band, like yeah. a, a Five Finger Death Punch sort of situation, rather than hmm. Smash Mouth. It's a little weird. But he's, so he's are, are, oh my god, yeah, he's oh god. Are they going to try to rehab their image now that they got rid of the douchebag? I um, I I don't know. Like I've they did one like song where he was like singing I think All Star and it's like it, first off the guy can actually carry a tune which is interesting cuz that's not something Smash Mouth is known for. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you isolate the vocals on any Smash Mouth song, there's there's not like a tune to it. It's everyone else doing the work. Mm. And he just kind of yells, doesn't he? Like, so he's just a atonal singer. Yeah. Now yeah. Maybe yeah. now they'll become famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they got their big break ahead of them. All right, Gary. Let me see your uh, stuff. All right. I was gonna do a dump round, but I figured let me try and salvage this. Um, I know you as a rapper, you already have the rhymes. You're already you're already making it big. You don't need my help <laughs> on the lyrics or the music. That's right. What you need is something to make you look sharp while you're singing on the sun i got a tie kit for you dude all of, <laughs> make your own tie and a variety of pre-made ones make you look like a fucking smash mouth dude you're good okay um i mean maybe you know i don't, I don't think historically rap rappers wear ties but maybe this is a good time to start well plumbers don't wear ties um, they, yeah that's they unrelated like, but a good point you know, like being nerdy and stuff you know like weird al Right, could be yeah, yeah, could 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 go white and nerdy, could go white and nerdy. For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let um, me think about it. Uh, Vin, let me see yours. Okay, well, you are the rapper Sunny Delight. You like sun. You've seen the videos. You know how it goes. I'm gonna sell you something that you need for your videos. Beach dance. Oh. You've seen it when they have the women looking good in the sunshine, dancing on the sand. Mm. It is the best, most happening shit on the beach, and they film their rap videos there. I know you like the sun. I know your rap name. You're gonna go hard on the 444 with Harrison Ford under the floorboards with this <laughs> beach dance. Thank you, dude. Okay, good pitch. Good pitch. Um. I want a music video that looks like fucking Final Fantasy X. Can you deliver that with Beach Dance? Absolutely. Yeah, All Waka right. will be there too. Do you remember Fuck Sugar? Yeah. Uh, is that like your my sugar baby? My yeah, sugar? that's a uh, butterfly. Hoobastank. Yeah, that's a hoobah steak. That that song has <laughs> go back and watch that music video. That that music video is exactly what you're describing, like a Final Fantasy cutscene that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> 
on the beach, right? It was just, well, it's not it on a beach. Very, like, the guy beach has, like, a tattoo and it game. turns into, like, a real butterfly. It starts flying around. It's like someone did drugs. <laughs> I know people say that a lot about things, but, it, yeah. It's Hoobastank? No, it's not. No, it's Crazy oh. Town. Yeah, oh. Hoobastank. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm going to be real. I got a Hoobastank meme. Just, uh, it's a very funny word. Let me let me see. Let me hear hear the meme. It, it's yeah. just every everything that I don't know what it was from the '90s that sounds vaguely like that is Hoobastank. That's the meme. <laughs> so anyway, we got uh, yeah Zot's product. Let's let's see it. Listen, y'all, I got this here power paw. It ain't against the law, but it can cut right through you like a saw. <sighs> Pawn and playing and prancing so free, you might be confused for a rapping for Rius MC. <laughs> God. That's my product. You, you, I, I, you know I have to give that to him, right? You know I have to. I rap too. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually selling you something. Not what the hell's power paw? <laughs> Nothing. It was it, Vinny it was a, oven window. A, you you heard him. <laughs> Come on. I'll, I'll I'll take that. Part. I mean, what do I? I mean, like, yeah, do I wear it? Like, what? <laughs> you it's like a glove you wear while you're rapping. It's a glove you wear while you're rapping, and you can chop people with it. But it looks it looks like a stolen glove from a certain costume. Like, uh, it might be like blue or whatever. Like, you can get it in a lot of colors. So that's my product. Vin, Price. you 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 had that. If if he didn't rap, you had that. <laughs> Once it was here. perfect. It was the beach party. All right, there we go. That's uh, all right. I'm still gonna have beach party music videos. I'm gonna steal your idea, and without paying you for it, it's all good. Um, all right, I'm a newlywed. Fuck. Okay. Um, newlywed. Hmm. Okay. 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 Newlywed. Newlywed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I don't need a second. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Um. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be bad. You might be mistaken for a furry. Yes. DJ who was, was amazing. For, uh, the the lines are I wrote this up on notepad. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I got this here power paw. It ain't against the law, but it can cut right through ya like a saw. Pawing and playing and prancing so free, you might be confused for a rapping fur ESMC. Or fur <laughs> yeah. Fucking great. Yeah. It's <laughs> good. All right. Mm. Ah shit. Um This is a hard one, fuck. Uh you're all you're you all are just waiting for me, huh? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Walk. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait, walk? Quark. It's Star Trek thing. Oh, look at that. Oh man, Great Sphinx has a great Odo emote. That is fantastic. <laughs> The crustiest of Odos. <sighs> All right, I'm ready when you guys are, but I'll take your time. Uh, what you got? I think I think Gear is first for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gear. All right. Well, what you got for congrats. me? I'm a newlywed. Yeah. Congrats on getting married. Um, Thanks. I don't have a product for you. I have some gifts, and not just one, but two. Okay. I have a tree and a vacuum for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's it. All right, well, that was very kind of you. Thank you. They're yours uh, to have whether you choose me or not. Oh, wow. Thanks. All right, Vinny. So you know the old adage about marriage, and you heard all the jokes. Yes. That's why you got to prepare yourself to watch a lot of TV in the other room, uh -huh. which is why I'm going to sell you dirt TV. 
It's oh, just <laughs> disgusting, <laughs> stupid programming. Maybe some of the stuff that we talked about before, where it's, you know the survival, the the reality TV, the toplessness, the, the cannibalism. Yeah, it's dirt TV. You watch it in the other room. At least you know that you got something you can go home to at the end of the night. <laughs> dirt TV. Thank you. Okay. Real some um, some boomer energy there you got then. All right. <laughs> I know. I know it was boomer energy. I know. All right, Zot. So this product is targeted at um, at the newlywed brides to be, and and thinking about the long term, you might think your bride to be is a ten out of ten, but we like to think her as eighty twenty or eighty five fifteen. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to sell you raw meat. It's um, it's uh-huh. it's it's meat that you can give to your loved one uh, to put in her bra to just you know just to keep things up there. You know, just uh, you so, know. So it's like a sirloin steak that I go, hey, ground. Wife, it can be ground, cutlet. You know, okay. It could be take, take this meat know. and put it in your bra, and she yeah. agrees to this because this is a normal thing to say. Yes. Okay. Juicy shack <laughs> meat. You also said newlywed bride to be. Uh, did she get? <laughs> she got married again. <laughs> <laughs> really went bride to be. I guess I didn't really. I didn't catch. catch that. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. Um, Mike. All right. I mean, bra give me a sounds- reasonable product. Just anything. Yeah, 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 dude. Okay. Um, what we are offering. Let's face it. Okay, you're married. Uh huh. Um, you are. Um, gonna want to explore all of the um, sexual peaks and valleys with your uh, new partner. Um, you guys have an exciting life of experimentation ahead of you. What okay. we are offering is a subscription service known as the Toy Parade. Every month, we will send you a new toy for you Marital and your partner age. to use in bed for anal stuff, whatever the hell you want. I don't know. <laughs> Prostate stimulation toys. You can peg. You can do peggle. Okay, you you're, can play Doku. You're, you're whatever, done. Whatever. It, it's it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, thank you for the vacuum in the tree. I'm just gonna take that. Like, unrelated sure. to you winning, but Mike yeah. wins this one because he's the only one who came up with a product that didn't absolutely suck. Dirt TV. <laughs> dirt TV is Bro, Twitch. We're me? aware of what Dirt TV. I, I I stream on Dirt TV. <laughs> That's correct. Hey, hey. I don't even think that that's a bad product. Okay, you use the, the sex toy. Yeah, for like it's a, a decent day. product. A and subscription then he, and to like then, Adam and Eve. Dear, what are you the, doing? And then you return it. it back. And then you return it to, 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 to the company. And and I mean, it's you know, I guess I guess it gets sanitized or whatever. Oh, but, you know, you have to return. Okay, I wouldn't say return, return it. What the fuck are you doing? Out, you can try out different sex toys You're without like. No, fuck anything. that. Vinny wins like, now because that's I'm fucking kidding. weird. Yeah. I'm just, I'm you, trying to be funny. you can't Rogers make it. You can't do a returnal pro- policy on your fucking TV. dildos, dude. You, and me, you watch this you thing and then you say and left it at that. You would have been you, fine. Yeah, you were, you won. Shut up. On the anal and the returning of the toys and you lost it. Yeah, marital aid library. Like no, no, no. The game is over because Mike won. No, no. Mike kept going and he made it weird so i'll take it then. yeah thank you you're welcome that's cool dirt tv you just watch it and it's like you know you watch it <laughs> listen rev you can yeah. watch dirt tv with your spouse okay. together fine to make it less boomery mike you don't Correct. get that anymore <laughs> i'm gonna lock Vinny's down so you can't take it <laughs> dirt tv for you and me you watch this shit then you sit all right <laughs> Um, I'm drawing. Who, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> or the other one. Ah, secret admirer. Yeah, for sure. Oh. What can I get from my, the person who I secretly admire? <laughs> for the person you secretly admire. Yes, I am the secret admirer to somebody else. What am I getting them to show them my love? Okay. Yeah, we can look at that. Non-toy parade love. (laughs) Yeah, that's fine. That non-returnable toy love. Secret admirer. Skip TV for you and me. Take a shit. You have a sit. 
fucking like a Thanos voice. <laughs> Pajama pipe. Pajama pulp. I can see that the people in this call here like the slow down voice, but not the wacky spin voice. I got it. Yeah. I learned. You start to, to, to like get a vibe for the, the crowd, you know? I got it now. Yeah. I understand. Seems like you're all Can you do already? spin and low? I could do low into spin if you're interested. You want to hear it? Yeah, um, but they can't. They're not compatible. They're compatible. Okay, do both at the same time. See what that sounds like. Do the uh, the dirt TV song like that. It's dirt, dirt TV, TV for you and me. <laughs> Get it real low. It's a good shit. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> Way too late. Anyway, what he said. So, uh, if you are ready here, I can give you my pitch. Yes, please. What what can I buy from my secret? My the one I secretly admire. Well, you know, sometimes there's some stuff that you have to worry about, and there's sometimes there are things that you're, uh, you know, the person you're interested in has to worry about that you don't have to. Right? There's some things. Rev has described it as the downstairs mix-up. Yep. However, I will say I have a perfect product that. It kills two birds with one stone. It is the pleasure pad. So okay. it does what it has to do. It cleans up the mess, but also oh, no. it's a lot of fun. You get that for them. They will remember you forever. And they will. Anytime they use it. Yeah, it sounds like they wouldn't need me. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Dirt right. TV for you uh, and me. The not. pleasure pad. Uh. So Not you're a so secret bad. admirer. Oh, you're looking, man. You're a secret admirer. You're looking from afar. You're like, I, I, I want what I can't have. <laughs> and, you know, you need to figure out a way to do this uh, and how to go about things. And maybe you've, you've tried everything. Well, I, it, maybe this is your last chance. That's why I have a greed virus. Um, it's a virus that uh, you, the greedy person, uses to get what you want. Um, and hopefully you can contain it. Uh, you just want to make sure it's targeted. Uh, I won't go into the specifics of how it's used because that's cl confidential. Uh, but you could use this green virus to to on people that to get what you want. I'm not going to go into the details any further, though. It's trade secret. <laughs> yeah, can you elaborate on that a little bit? <laughs> it's trade it secret. You, it just turns yeah. you into Wario. No, oh, well, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> Mike. Uh, let's face it. You have a secret admirer. They are. Uh, I think he's. The you know, you want to let them know subtly that you appreciate them. So let me introduce to you the flower alarm. Right, you're gonna give them a bouquet, a beautiful bouquet with hand-picked fresh flowers, and then every like I don't know, ten minutes, there's like a little mechanism inside the bouquet that's gonna be like, "I love you," <laughs> or "You have nice boobs," <laughs> or "Thinking of you, tee hee." Uh, and and then she's going to be like, this rules. I'm going to marry that guy. You're welcome. It's the flower alarm. Um, call now. Okay. Rev? Okay. So you don't need something for the person that you're trying to get with. You just need to be honest about your feelings. But that's hard. It's hard to just go up to someone and go, I like you, right? That's real hard. Yeah. Introducing the truth horse. <laughs> it's for the horse girl that you're into. She wa it walks up to them and goes, "He thinks you're cute." <laughs> it's just like so, Mr. Ed. Yeah, it's Mr. Like, Ed <laughs> comes up so to you and just straight up tells secret. the person you're into that you're into him. So well, you don't have to do that because that's the scary <laughs> part, you know. And and make some really solid points about like you as a person. Like you, you take regular baths. You, you. Good character, moral character. Yeah, a good moral character. You're a good person, and they what, and you like them. What's the uh, machination that allows the horse to talk? Is it like a is it like a speaker box on the horse, and then you use like string to move its mouth, or <laughs> like? Um, no it, it's it's uh <laughs> it's we just genetically engineer horses that can talk. <laughs> Sentient horses. Sentient like... horses. Their their <laughs> one and only goal in life is to exactly describe how you're a cool person. I see. 
That might not be ethical, just a consideration. Okay, well... I know, yeah. I know everybody's high on this. I know everybody's on their high about oh, their horse high. <laughs> yeah. About like, oh, yeah, this is such a this is such a cool concept. That might be fucking, like, unethical. Uh, again, um, let me just... <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Toilet child. Yeah, Let's toilet child. Can we just like? I told you, the creator of Toilet it. Child is giving me ethic lessons right he now. He loves <laughs> doing it, though. He's all about it. He's, he's happy. Look, you can see our kids are happy. They have big smiles on their faces while they collect your dung. They have okay? to be blindfolded. They, but they like it. They, they have. They look so happy. They're they're living. Life. Truth they're horse loving, would tell like, you that you're full of shit right now, and you need to get it together, man. He might say that. He but, would you know, say that because um, Truth Horse tells the fucking truth. Well, I think if you at least it's uh, not attention horse. If you, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Right. Hey, it could be attention horse. Could be. Uh, I think gear. What you want? I think the truth is overrated. Well, I that's think, I think. Uh, that's why you tell lies about your weird too dangerous. So that's that's out. Sorry. Okay. Um, I understand. The alarm flowers sounded good. However, I feel like if I gave somebody flowers and it complimented them on their chest, uh, that would be a one way to get to not getting a date. You could you, you could program that. That was just an example. You can make it say whatever you want. That's just one of the default preloaded uh, compliments. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the pleasure pad just sounds weird, man. Like, I get the idea, but that sounds like a one way to get to them not meeting me or anybody else. Um, so I guess hopefully the truth horse will be able to uh, <laughs> praise my my accolades to the one I love. And uh, what if she's horse phobic? She's not. She's a horse girl. Well, a horse in itself is a big gift. Yeah. Uh, this one goes I, out to one I guess yeah. I guess I'm looking at gift horse in the mouth here. Yeah, you are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anytime he does anything horse, he wins. Because remember last time he did like the like the, the murder horse and shit? Yeah. That's awesome. Horses are great, dude. <laughs> They're fucking weird. You ever think about how horses in exist? In the heart of Texas. Yeah. The Alamo remember the Alamo, right? Yeah, it's weird that horses are like that. Have you ever yeah. thought about horses just like... Yeah, I know I you're aware that horses exist, but have you ever thought about that? Like, really? No, they're weird. They're weirdly they're kinda, no, they, shaped yeah. animals. And they're, they're stupid they're as scary. fuck, but really strong. I'm, I'm they're scared of scary. horses. You should yeah. be. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're fucked Five up. Cards. If you have like, a survival instinct, horses are terrifying to you. I Look saw... A, I, I had a friend growing up, because Texas, who had a ranch... <laughs> And their horses didn't understand to walk. Okay, so one horse jumped over a barbed wire fence that was just in the middle of the paddock, right? The other horse got scared, stopped before it, and then was like, I don't know what to do. And so <laughs> rather than thinking about going around, it was like, New should York I horse. like yeah. gut myself on this? And they had to run in there real fast to stop it. Horses are stupid, but it was like a horse strong. pile. It was like a horse pile up, right? Yeah. Jeez. Um, oh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm the the person. No, it's me. Right? No. Oh, it's you. My it's bad. Me. Okay. I did, it's superhero. I did supervillain oh. for the previous game. Now it's superhero for this game. Okay. okay. So sell me something. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is stupid. I'm giving up all pretense of actually trying now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is right. not everything's a fucking Homestuck <laughs> reference. You're banned. <laughs> I love the the shreks against the desert here. It's good. <laughs> it's a nice a nice contrast, right? Yeah. Just imagining like going out on a trip. And you're like walking in the in the wilds of the deserts, like backwoods, Colorado, or whatever. And you're just walking around, you know, seeing rattlesnakes and whatnot. Then you come upon a treasure trove of just like very long Shrek, long Shrek like, snake, long Shrek. It's like a, a an effigy, sort of like cut out in a wall or whatever. And it's like got like melted candles and everything. Hmm. I think that would terrify me more than seeing like course a, a plane like a skeleton or whatever yeah. yeah like there's just when you go out into a desert there's usually just like a cow skull like not the rest of the yeah. animal which implies that there's headless cows running around which is fucked up <laughs> <laughs> but you know do you ever see that video of the ostrich that like i heard of it oh man 
it's, I don't even want to mention it because it's, it's that fucking fucked. gross. Yeah, it's fucked. It's fucked. I yeah. assume that's the rest of the story. It's sort of like that chicken that like went on a road yeah, tour for a while. It's exactly like that. Yeah, it's pretty gross. And yeah, there's there's video of a thing happening to an ostrich that I will never forget for the rest of my life. <laughs> so. The internet's like that. Yeah. And I had the opportunity to watch it at one point. I was like, and I, I chose not to because I was like, that just sounds really upsetting. I, I'm not going to watch that. Yeah. So um, I'm superheroes. ready as a superhero. <laughs> Zot, why don't yeah. you sell me right. something? I, I'm a superhero. What could I use? Well, you got a lot of superpowers, but I think you haven't heard of this superpower. Now, it might come to a surprise to you, but a lot of our power comes from within, the food we eat and everything. But also, the power comes from the faith of the people that believe in us and the, and the good deeds that we do as superheroes. So I've got a new power for you. It's called... Faith vomit. <laughs> Shrek flipped it. You flipped Shrek. <laughs> 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 Fucking Shrek. There he goes. <laughs> Who Shrek is this? Oh, it's yours. That's my Shrek. Okay. That's my Shrek. Uh, faith vomit. You can vomit on people that don't believe in you, and they will believe in you. But they also have vomit on them. That's my product. You can do it while you're flying with your superpowers. Just vomit down on people. That guy doesn't like me. I know. Blah. And then he believes in you. That's Don't more be to your, out your, your cards, fan base. dude. Get, get that fucking back. I there. can't change it. No, stick with Why what not? you got. Cause fuck you. I'm oh like shit. <laughs> oh. All right, that's my shit product. <laughs> Thank you for that faith vomit. Beautiful. Um. All right, Mike. What do you got for me? Uh. All right. So let's face it. You're a superhero. You need. Um. You know. Sometimes superheroes need a little bit of backup. I am offering you. Uh, it's just teamwork, man. I'm gonna give you a, a, a fucking whole team, like like a Justice League, just for you. Um, uh -huh. A guy who um, talks to fish, a, 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 a super strong guy, uh, a guy who can fly, a guy who make just sits there and makes duck noises all night. Now, dude, I know you love ducks. One of these superheroes is Duck Man. He's a half man. I used half to watch duck. that show. Yeah, he's a, Jason a Alexander did the voice. A, Wait, he's... that exists? Yeah. Yeah, it was a cartoon oh, in the 90s. Oh, 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 and... oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. I remember that now. Holy shit. Deep memory unlocked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yes, it's a duck guy. He's got a, you know, he's he's got a beak. He's good. Dude, it's it's like, um, what was it that, that other thing with the puppet, the duck puppet? Remember it, it was it was a live action thing? Remember that? Does anybody have any idea what I'm talking about? It was from Howard like the, 90s. the Duck? Yes. Yeah. It's like Howard the Duck. And he tells fun jokes and he quacks. You are gonna love this this duck guy. <laughs> anyway, that's I'm giving you a, a, a Justice League basically, and you okay. pay me for it once, and then you own these people. And but it's not slavery. It isn't slavery. Wow. Again. Okay, good to know. That's right, important. Just, just Always gonna, good to know. They 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 like it. Okay. Um, take it away. Thank you. Rev. Okay. So. All right, Rev. I'm I'm ready for your product. You're already a superhero. You already have superpowers. You have an origin story. You've done all that. You've got villains and stuff like that. But one of the biggest problems is when shit goes down and there's nowhere to change. But you need to change in your superhero outfit. You can't just like suddenly start flying. That's fucking weird. Everyone will know it's you. Introducing the closet grenade. Instantly, a closet appears and you can change out and then you can bounce and do your superhero thing. Oh, Rev's back uh, on his bullshit. Thank yeah, you, Rev. I'm trying to think he of like was, was he was off it at any point. No, probably not. Anyway, that was very good. Thank you, Rev. You're welcome. Um, gear. Yeah. Well, I don't care what superhero you are. You can always have. You always have need for a little, a little pick me up, a little, a little, a little perk, a little extra power. Uh, yeah. Animal muscle. Just a shit ton of muscles to add, and so you can just be. <laughs> Ooh, brother, we're gonna take out the opposition and I don't yeah. know, something in that voice. <laughs> right. Always something in that yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah. That's about it. Animal muscle. Wow. Um Sounds like a like a protein powder for <sighs> yeah. out. No, it's just like actual muscles that they grow. Sounds like you're just describing like chicken. Like you're just selling <laughs> yeah. a nice hearty you're, meal. You're trying, so, uh... you're trying to rebrand like meat. <laughs> so chicken meat vomit slavery or a useful product i said it's not slavery i went, yeah. out, of, I went out of my way to say that it's not slavery you know oh, i don't have Jesus. to say my products aren't slavery my, it's kind of weird when you have to point that out you're getting a bunch of backup to like fight crime with you and shit you're paying for them it's 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 like you know okay it doesn't matter anymore because he's giving you the rev, rev you win Thank you. 
not the game. You won that round. Mike, that was very, very good. It's just, you got to understand something. Ducks are not overly useful. They may be nice, <laughs> but they're not overly useful. <laughs> okay. Noted. All right. That's the issue there. <laughs> so, but good. good. You know what, Mike? If you, seriously, that was very, very, very close. Very close. So, Zot, you're up. Oh, we're, we're doing another round the board? Okay. I'm going to make this okay. trek uh, short and wide. We started at gear. That's right. That's right. So this is our second round. Okay. Yeah, we can play it like that. Yeah. I mean, first to three or whoever has the most by the time we get gear, we get to gear is fine. It's like d ducks are fun, but in a, in a scenario like that, they're just kind of dead weight, you know? Um, yeah, they're not like super. And Howard the Duck is, is a terrible movie. So it is. That guy it scares is me. Actually, I have no concept yeah. for what that is. It just, that guy freaks me out, man. I just know that he's in that movie, tricky. right? He, he, I just know he's got a boner that's like his head feathers. <laughs> I vaguely really, didn't like. Do, why do I want to say George Lucas had something to do with that? He did absolutely he have did, something yeah, to do with that yeah. movie. He did, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't direct it. I don't think, but he he produced it. Of course, he did. That did he did that. And then, there, and then there's gonna be a duck there, right? He We're definitely gonna have went. a little duck, and then uh, there's gonna be a lady duck with her um her uh mammary glands out you know he definitely went a little bit too far <laughs> in that instance tell you that much with her animal muscle uh, <laughs> okay you are a high hey, school bro. dropout high school dropout product for a high school dropout let's get it on okay uh yeah lucasfilm was the production company imagine you make star wars and lucasfilm has this like prestigious name and then like your next project a couple of years later is Howard, Howard the Duck. <laughs> it's amazing because uh, Tim Robbins, who was in that movie, went on to be in the Shawshank Redemption like just a couple of years after that, like seven years after that. Imagine Which was kind of his breakout role, that. right? That He was already, you know, an actor, but then by the time he did that, that was like huge for him, yeah. That, that the tonal difference of him going from Howard the Duck to like, or prior to Howard the Duck, you would have done Jacob's Ladder. So it would have been like Jacob's Ladder. Now you're, you're yeah. talking to a duck, I which is more terrifying. Good point. Good point. Vin, you told me, you, you were like, you were like, I saw this crazy movie. You might like it. It's called Jacob's Ladder. It's on, it's on, uh, it's on YouTube, right? Yeah, and then I, I went, movie. I went to YouTube to find it and it wasn't there. And I, I think what had happened was like, they must, because it was like the next night after you told me that. I think they removed it from YouTube, like immediately after you said that to me, seriously. Possible. Yeah. Um, still a great movie to watch like it's it's the inspiration in many ways for silent hill so i'd recommend it really yeah, yeah. it's awesome all right i think i'm good i think we're waiting on gear yeah i got nothing man okie right. doke i'm a high school dropout i'm i, I got my GED, but I don't know what I need to purchase with with my money. That the very little money I have, um, I'm still trying to get a, a better paying job right now. But I'd like to know what products you had to sell me that could make my situation a little better. All right, well, well I got you, Mike. I got one for you, bud. Uh, let's face it, you done goofed. You dropped out of high school. You were supposed to stay in school, right? That's what they say, but you didn't do that. So now, what do you need? You need a shortcut to success. Uh, may I introduce you to the brain ladder? Uh, you, you, you got um, Jesus. You, you know, you got. You said you got your GED, um, but we're gonna have to juice you beyond that. This is a a series of steps. As you get it because it's a ladder that we take <laughs> to inject knowledge into your brain. Seriously. So in every step. every step of the process, we inject that knowledge directly. And what do you want to do? Do you want to, um, you know, learn about geography? We pump it directly into your brain. Math, we pump that right in there. It's like a pill that you take that just has I don't know, like like Spanish on it, okay? And that's how you get, um, you know, ahead in life. It's a ladder, right? So, so is it is it a pillar or a ladder? I'm confused. It, it, we, the ladder is it's a figurative ladder, okay? Because obviously that wouldn't make any sense if it wasn't. So it's a figurative ladder that you take these pills and over time you gain knowledge. It's like you know, it's like it's like a, a flowers for Algernon. You ever read that? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I, I, Did you I, I, finish I, yeah. reading that book, Mike? Yes, I love that book. Okay. Do you remember how it ends? I want you to focus <laughs> on, on the now. <laughs> I want you to focus on the on the. Okay, he's right. I, I, I'm I'm fucked. Go ahead, Riff. Okay. <laughs> so, unlike the last guy, I'm not going to tell you you fucked up. I'm going to sell you on the idea that you made a rad decision. Lincoln Park, right. Insane Clown Posse, Fuck. Uh, Slipknot. What do these all have in common? Yeah, new so, metal. Uh, yeah. You remember okay. new metal? Yeah. What if? What if we we did it again, but it was better and contemporary and talked about new issues that new people, new kids have, like you? What are things that right. you think about? How much you hate your parents for I am Gen Z, grilling you yeah. for dropping out of high school? They're wrong and stupid. Hood rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pitch. So this is just a genre that you're pitching. A genre of music, yes. It's not going to make your life better in any material way, though. <laughs> You're right. Music never makes anyone's life better. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Okay. Yeah, that's what Mike is arguing there. Oh. Um. You know what? You got me. Okay, fair. I mean, like, it's not going to help him get a job. I could tell you that much as a fucking musician who like, could... does not make money from it. I'm going to fucking tell you that... If you're trying to sell him a career in music, you are you are like, actually is he selling further... the career or is he selling the album? I'm, that's where I'm confused. You though. are you are further could listen fucking to some over. hood rock and be like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna get in the game, and you can you're start selling, making your own. Okay. You're selling so him you're, dreams that are fucking not gonna put food on the table. Okay. You're selling him dreams. He's gonna chase dreams and fucking okay, piss Flower his life for away. Algernon. I've been uh, there. I think I think I think we've Trust me. yeah. I, okay. <laughs> okay. I okay. You can't, dreams don't. You can't eat dreams, buddy. Flowers for Algen. I mean, brain ladder. Forget about the mouse. Yeah, I'm not selling any any uh, uh, actual snake oil or or asking you to pay me for my music. I've just got two items to help you out in your journey. Uh, you've dropped out of high school, having a hard time. You want to improve your life. Um, one is a razor. Clean yourself up. Two, stick it out west. Go get some. Go get a good job out there. That's all. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Clean yourself <laughs> up and leave is what you're suggesting. <laughs> in a nicer Vinny, way, but yes. <laughs> okay. Vinny like is, like is in chat. He's pointing out that the money goes back <laughs> into the band, but I do give the guys some money when we make it. Failing to realize that whether or not that, that the truth of that is not helping me win this argument against Rev. No. Um so All right. Yeah. It is the truth, okay. but it's not helpful. The truth is not helpful to me right now. Okay, I'm just, so... I just want to point out real quickly that the snakes have family guy eyes. I just, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's oh my all, god. This one does. You're they right. Kind of yeah, do, yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Anyway, go ahead, Vin. Okay, so how about this? I'm going to sell you a product that you're probably going to need anyway, but I'm going to sell it to you cheap. This is something that I would imagine most high school dropouts will eventually come to possess, whether or not you're in some alley or wherever you are. I don't know, but I'll sell it to you real cheap, and this product will be very useful to you for many years to come. Bacteria blanket. Just going to be with you anyway regardless, so may as well buy it from me. Thank you. <laughs> A literal small okay. packs blanket? Okay. Is that what yeah, you're selling? All that, yeah. So just to review, so Mike Jesus is Christ. selling what I assume to be like the equivalent of like brain drugs. Rev yeah, is selling... Yeah. New metal. Rev is selling a concept. Yeah. So yeah, and then Gear is selling fairly useful products, admittedly, and a bacteria blanket. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of how the production process of that, and it concerns me, uh, of how you would make the bacteria blanket. You, know, you, you get some people yeah, with scarlet don't fever, sausage sort of, being made, sort of situation. Yeah. Um, all in all, though. Don't think about it too hard. I think I'm going to have to think about it hard. I'm going to take the brain drugs. Really? Of course, you're take, of, course, of course you're going to take the brain drugs. <laughs> you need <laughs> brain drugs to figure out why that's a bad decision. <laughs> exactly. Drugs. Don't take the brain drugs. Take the brain, brain drugs. ladder. Sounds like a drug that's like used in Fallout. Brain ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mentats and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. They can't say meth, so they have to say brain ladder. Although I don't think <laughs> that, I don't think meth is brain ladder. 
It's true. He needed so, the pills to realize how bad of an idea that was. <laughs> he's like, great. wait a minute. <laughs> wait, so Mike won he that takes one? His, yeah. He takes yeah, Mike his first pill one. and he's like, ah, oh, shit. So that's, I mean... Algernon. Who, who started this, this uh, gear, thing? Gear, gear started. So we gotta so get gear, back to you've, gear. You, you've done... You, how many times have you gone as two? As, uh, two. So once it hits Rev, it's over. Yeah. Was I first? No. Dude, look out for... <laughs> After, after yeah, I made done, myself so. a wide Shrek instead. What is I mean, Mike Mike already wide. won with the three, but we, if yeah. you guys want to do two more just for fun, I'm down for that because then I'm gonna go make some dinner. <laughs> well, if I I've got I've got two. I've got a short wide. He's kind of hard to see. He, yeah. So well, I could tie it up with one. Okay. No, because Mike has three. Oh yeah, you do have to. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. Yes, yeah. correct. Actually, my bad. For anybody, for anybody who's like actually keeping track, they really know I have four, but let's not. You know, no, let's not. you don't. I do. All I, right, I so... see that Vinny has one, and you have three, which is how it turned out. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. What What's the job, Mike, or the the thing, the customer? Oh right. Okay, I'm the customer. Let me shuffle this. And uh, you, okay, it's gangster or runaway um hmm uh let's do let's do gangster how about that yeah let's let's do that what do you think gangster uh, yeah she yeah 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 she so we're, we're talking like prohibition era gangster if you look at the picture He's got a uh, yeah. He's got a cigar. He's got a guitar case, which I imagine actually has like a Tommy gun in it, right? Right, right, and, right. Uh, his little um, his little hat. Uh, I'll I'll tell you what, gangster from any era or any Understood. culture, any any type of gangster will do any any, whatever you know, as much leeway as possible with you know the cards that you have. Hmm. By the way, how are we doing on donations? Is Vin gonna stream P War or what's up? All right. To, to the person that said that they they almost lost friends for not donating, like God, um, your friends suck. You should lose those friends. Oh, uh, that's bizarre. Yeah, that's those bizarre. guys suck ass. Like fuck those guys. Like what what good does it do if you donate all of your dosh in order to help people, and then now you're in a bad situation, so now you need donations. Like what? That doesn't help any, right? You've just created a different problem. You know, donate within your means. Don't donate if you can't, you know? And also right. donation isn't about who is cooler. Yeah, no, that's not altruistic. the point of donating. Like, it's not a fucking competition. It is a, trying a, to do good it's things a personal here. thing yeah. that you want to do to help others if you can do so. What did I have again? Oh, right. Uh, I think we've all got... Oh, no, Vin, you still got to put yours I, out. I, yeah. Daldarin, um, hey, Daldarin said we're trying to avoid P-War. Dude, he, he's... He, P-War is, is like a 10 to 20 minute thing, all right? It's not... Like, if that. You know, like, it's it, short. Um, yeah, you're not gonna... You're not getting a lot of mileage out of that, Vin. So just, just for anybody who's like, oh, no, P-War, I'm not gonna donate because P-War... Uh, which I I don't even think you, you could know, very hard. much skip pure if you didn't want to watch Vinny stream one of the dumbest games and it's a, ever it's a ten made. Minute, it's a ten minute meme. So don't yeah. Worry about it. Okay. P P Warhammer twenty six K. Okay. In the far future, there's only P. Uh yeah, so we're all ready. Whoever. Wants to lead the charge. Oh, Who, um, I guess it's me first. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, you know one thing that's important about being a gangster? What's that? Everyone knowing that you have a huge cock. And I know that's important to you. Sure right? Is. I'm selling you on the diaper worm. Okay? <laughs> it's a large penis for your downstairs mix-up. <laughs> so you can yeah, be... Mate. You can be the oh, biggest redundant? dick okay. gangster there is. Um. All right. I'm a little concerned that you're giving me a parasite. It's not a parasite. Just... It's a penis. <laughs> They're different. It's not a parasite. Like it's, it's just an actual penis. It okay. just it it makes your penis go big. So you're you're selling me like a penis augmentation? Yeah. 
Your penis is augmented. Um, what would you do to get a bigger dick? Uh, two I mean, payments could, of five ninety nine because that's what I'm selling it for. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, why is everybody telling Vinny not to act up? What What did I miss? Colonel, there seems to be some kind of diaper worm here in Shadow Moses Island. Snake, you don't have anything to worry about. It's just a byproduct of the diaper chief. Don't worry about a thing, oh. Snake. Just wear the diaper worm. Yeah, I don't need my hog getting any bigger, getting in the way of my thick, dummy thighs. Making sneaking even harder. That's right, Snake. Who's my good little diaper baby? <laughs> Vinny, shut anyway. the fuck up. All right. <laughs> the di the diaper chief of God. How did I not? How did I not foresee this? All right. Well, you know I love dick and diapers. So good job, Rev. Yep. Uh, what's up with gear? All right. Uh, you know you're a gangster. You're involved in a lot of gunfights. Uh, yeah. You reach into your pocket, and instead of pulling out a gun, you pull out the mistake finger. Okay. <laughs> it's a finger gun instead. But the secret is, it actually still shoots people. Oh, so people so get it looks it. like you're faking them out, and then, bam, done. Oh, that's good. Really right, good nice. gear. Nice work. Thanks. All right. Um, all right, Master <clears throat> Miller. Let's see your shit. You're a gangster. You need to make a getaway. You don't have a getaway driver. Dead. Killed. Rival gang. Cops. I don't know. And the only way you're going to get out of there is if you have a useful product. Not some garbage joke product. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. You, as a gangster, are going to need this real product that will save you from getting caught. And you can keep all of your profits from robbing the bank or wherever. Costume basket. A costume for every occasion. Put mm -hmm. one on. Blend right into any surrounding and get away however you would like. All right. So the basket element is like you're just walking around. With it. The basket has like a bunch of costumes in it. Is that God is that... damn it. You were hoping I mean, you were hoping I wouldn't focus on the basket. I element. mean, I mean, yes, it yeah. was either going to be that or or a dump round. So I hope you enjoy the basket costume costume basket. Thank you. All right. Um, I'll get back to you on that. Zot, what do you got for me? Well, uh, as our, the previous uh, propositioners stated about get, making a clean getaway, I think I have something better. Why have to change costume when you can just make a clean getaway at any time, at any road you want to take? I am here to sell you access to Secret Road. It's a special road that will hide you from your tailors uh, or tracking you down on your, on your various uh, criminal activities, so to speak. You can take this secret road with your secret gangster car <laughs> and dr drive to where you need to go it could be a left turn a right turn into freedom i hope you buy our access to secret road secret road so wow. the road will just manifest in front of me yeah. like wherever i want it to this is basically it's the left right game serious serious technology um yeah. yeah so uh these are all just god awful dear lord um <laughs> what if you I, had a bigger I, dick man it's 12 bucks. I, I think that um, my inclination, honestly, is to give it to Rev because he said penis a lot, and that's funny to me. And he also said diaper a lot, which is also funny to me. That's true. Um, but then I did the diaper chief bit. Which... Yeah, that was really funny. Um, yeah, he that, sold so the product that, for me. So, so split the difference. I'm right between them. I mean, I, I love the diaper chief, <laughs> the diaper chief bit. I do love the diaper chief bit. You could but, give but us both comes, half a Shrek. It comes down to the fact that, like, I don't know. Do do diaper baby. Oh, that <laughs> Shut the fuck up. oh man. I listen. I have to give it to Gear because his product made like it was like okay, it's it's a stunt finger that actually shoots bullets. Thank that you. could be useful for a gangster. All right, that's actually good. That's the only one that okay. The, the, the I, I I have questions about the logistics of the tunnels. Zot. All right, that that's just yeah. like, how do I know? How do I know? I'm well, not going to end road. up. road. You're calling it a tunnel. It's a road. It's well, how do I know tunnel. it's not going to take take me to like like va this vacuum of space or some shit? How do well, I know it's not going to dump me in the middle of the fuck, success know, rate of Secret Road something. is at least eighty percent? You don't have to worry about the vacuum <laughs> of space. Eighty. <laughs> that that twenty percent is is very concerning. Yeah. I mean, 
it's just like the you're taking the you're trying to do your getaway and all of a sudden you just look like schwarzenegger from total recall you're just your face is fucking exploding <laughs> yeah so this is the uh the last one the yep. last one okay and then did you shake your diaper worm after going potty snake <laughs> fuck anyway i'm gonna go with witch oh that's fun i'm a bitchy Ooh. witch you're a witch i'm all a right. witch I, Mike, mm, okay. I will donate for you to shut up, Vinny. How long does he have to not talk for? I don't know. I think it, it just he needs to stop doing that. Oh, uh, what, spe specifically the, the... The the diaper the Diaper thing. chief? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I will donate money for you to continue the diaper chief meme. Bid war. <laughs> Okay. How about that? Donate now. Do you want it to continue or not? Put it in the description. Oh man, this is this is this has to be a dump round. This is the last round, man. Yeah, uh, no, it's it's all it's all trash in my hand. It's just full hand of trash. Mm. Colonel. Mm. You just gave me a shitload of cards. It's last round. <laughs> see what you can do with them. Yeah, let's see. I'm not going to okay. win, but I'm not using them, so. You could tie it. Yeah. No, that's true. Give me one second. If he gets any use out of them, I'll be surprised. Only because he has another g good one to pair it. Oh my god, this is all dog shit. Dude. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so fucking bad. Uh, okay. I'm just. Okay. All right. I, I'm fine. Why Fuck are you it. touching my cards, dog? I was trying to touch the buttons at the top of the screen, but it was over your card. <laughs> I was going to give your cards to Zot, too. Come on. Sounds like we're cl we're close to 26k, guys. You think we could get 26k for for P War? P War could happen. Vine Sauce playing P War, guys. The dream. How long have we been dreaming about that? Okay, like an hour. But theoretically, I... for a lot longer in our hearts. So please donate to my a great mouth cause. is still shut. I'm not I'm not doing the bit. So he's I'm also not, not making any references so to dump rounds. Someone needs to make sure that they they donate. Um, Gear, you ready? Yes, as, as ready as I will be. Do it. Uh, so, what do uh, what do witches do? They fly around in their brooms, right? Yeah. And what is the best part of that? It's the cape that flaps behind them. I was gonna say doing it naked, be... but all right. Well, you could you could maybe you could use my product and do it naked minus my product, but okay. You know, you got your regular cape. You're flying around your broom. What could be better than a head cape? A second cape that comes out from behind your head, and it looks sick. <laughs> So wait, what? Okay. So that it's is a little cape pitch. attached to the back of your head. It's a it cape. Looks sick. Looks sick. Is that sick. a is that a veil? No, a veil would be in front of your face. It's behind so you. You, it? you would put a veil on backwards. It's a fabric it's a mullet. Second smaller cape. Chat says. It's a second smaller cape that you wear on top of your head. Is it a cape head or a head cape? It's a head cape. It, it's a cape that goes on your head. Okay. No, not a wig. It's not made of hair. But it's, it's like a, a fabric it's a cape. It's, it's a fabric like a fabric cape. mullet. It's your same like cape, just smaller and a little bit higher. Okay. Well. How does it, okay. Sure. Yeah. All right, Vinny. All right. Well, we all know that the spooky season is all about atmosphere, mm -hmm. and a witch would most certainly appreciate and prefer some good atmosphere while she double boils and toils and troils. Yes. And that's why I'm going to sell you some light rain. Okay. You throw it on, you do your witch stuff, you stir the pot, it looks great, and you just film that at the right angle, and you got yourself instant, perfect atmosphere. Worked for Ridley Scott, it could work for you. Just a little bit of rain. It's a little light rain. There, I drew your diagram. Okay, thank you for the diagram. <laughs> I understood the concept. 
Uh, okay, cool. A little bit of light rain to do some brewing with. Okay, got it. Uh, Zot? Um, I think the, the last person to sell the product does not understand witch lore properly. As you know, in Catalan lore, witches are actually afraid of water, um, and they actually use water to prevent witches from getting inside houses. And He's so like a it's a terrible product for, for a witch. So instead, I am selling you a desire boat uh, for the witch. You can use it to lead you to all the things that you desire, to power to control things or what have you, and you won't have to worry about falling in water. Desire boat. Buy it today. It's, so how is it different than a normal boat? It, it, it's self-powered by your desires. I see. So if I'm dead inside, then I'm not going anywhere. I, I don't know what would happen. If it did. What's the desires of a dead witch? That's a that's a that's an interesting lore Philosophy. concept. Yeah. All right, uh, Mike. What do you got for me? All right. So you are a witch. What's one of your like favorite things to do? Uh, riding around on my broomstick. And what else? Making potions. And what else? Turn people into newts. And what else? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What else? You like to lure children to your candy house and kidnap them and then fatten them up and eat them. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> sure. This Obviously. is the toilet child. The toilet child. Of course, <laughs> of course, of course you, you like to do that. You're doing that all the time. You like the sweet, succulent meat of, of young people. It's good. It's, it's tender. It's delicious. You love it. All right. Now, here's the, the issue that you keep having, though. Every time you try to catch one of these kids, the darn little rascals, they keep escaping, right? That's what they do. They escape. They run, they flee. Oh, oh my God, help us. The witch is going to eat us. Okay, you've had enough of that shit. Time for you to rest back on your laurels and enjoy the good life. All right, let okay. me introduce to you the foot hammer. Okay, so every time you catch one of those kids, you take your beautiful foot hammer, which is perfectly designed for shattering foot bones and smash their feet to pieces like that bitch from Stephen King's Misery. Okay, and you just go bashing and bashing and bad. You smash their feet up real good. They ain't going to run anywhere, and you are going to have delicious little Hansel and Gretel for days. All, all the time. You're going to be able to eat that. Let's, let, let's not do this. Let's not sabotage other people. Let, let's not do that. Who's doing that? Who's green? <laughs> well, it's green, so it'd be Vinny. Okay. Um, okay. I do agree no. that... Okay, so... Hobbling children. It's almost as good as stabbing them, which is what you really want to do. I mean, I, I do like stabbing, but um, that being said, it's also, you know, it's not a good look to be like, you know something you enjoy? Uh, hurting children. What are you talking about? You're a witch. I mean, yeah, it's true, but you don't say that out loud. You the know? optics of it all. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're yeah. concerned about the, the, the optics. Yeah. That, the the optics the, are important to me. Um, head cape is dumb. <laughs> you look great. No, I think it, I, I, look you know, like an I think it, I think if you were that concerned about the optics, then you wouldn't be a fucking witch, bro. Well, okay, you'd get your shit together and you'd go become a lawyer or something. All right, you you you'd become a, a nurse. All right, you you wouldn't you wouldn't be like riding around fucking making newt stew and doing all this evil shit. Okay, if you didn't want to be evil, you're a witch. You're evil. Embrace it. Okay, okay? And you, I you can just be stop, evil, stop but I can be ethically evil. You don't want to eat children. Eth ethically evil. Yeah. Okay, help me understand that. Okay, so like you capture children, but you you don't maim them first. You know, it's like kosher. Well, how are you, okay, okay. Well, if you're concerned about the fucking optics, all right? How 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 bad is it going to be when one of these kids escapes and is like, you know, this guy he captured me and he started stuffing Hershey Kisses down my throat to fatten me up for the for the oven. You know, I, I like I, I, the idea of uh, it's gonna be some bad optics. That's why you gotta stop them from escaping. I, I optics, optics, optics. <laughs> um, I I, I, I like to say like, I like the idea of like uh, lo-fi beats to to uh, brew potions to and chill to vibes of light rain. Um. I don't know how you're selling that. Can you can you describe that to me? Like, how does light rain yeah. happen? Yeah, we got we got a nice fog machine that. Um, also, by the way, as a side effect of the fog machine, you uh -huh. get instant atmosphere for any Halloween 
party, uh-huh. any movie. And once the, the fog goes up into the sky, it creates rain clouds. But not dangerous rain clouds, not shitty rain clouds, just little light sure. ones, that light, fluffy ones and just a little bit of light rain. And you get your instant atmosphere and you get fog and it's like a perfect, beautiful October night and the witch is brewing her potion. That does it's sound very really nice. nice, yeah. You can have lo-fi beats if you want to. I feel like that's like, sort of required oh, to go up. with it, but I, you know, you know, you, you can get that separate. That's that's fine. I think I'm going to give it to Light Rain. Um, that's nice. There is a bias here. I am I am sensing a bias. Why? I, I am sensing a, a. You still you still won. Because it says I want to win more. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking snake oil, dude. Bro. It's not that competitive. Wait, what's, that, what, what, what's that phrase where it's like, it is not enough that I should win, but that others should lose. Right? Yeah. Mike is Netflix. Others other should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right. Well, that was it for me, at least. I'm going to go uh, make some food. We got like 30 and, uh, minutes before the next block. Vin, thank you so much yeah, for, thank you uh, for joining coming us by. for this, buddy. Sure. This was, all, this and, was uh, awesome. Th- and, and man, so much fun. I love. I had this. fun. This is this, this is, is a good. good, this is a good group, and also a lot of fun. And you guys, I appreciate you inviting me. And Rev, thank you as always for having me on your stream. Well, no, thank you for coming by. Uh, Rev viewers, thank you for donating. Thank you for uh, checking out the charity, and I hope you enjoyed today's thing. I'll be around tomorrow on my channel for some corruptions. And maybe P War, we'll see, and some we other did. fun stuff. Oh, so then P War, corruptions, and I will continue raising money for charity tomorrow on my channel. So um, stop by if you want. All right, goodbye, All right. everybody. See you, man. Right, see Thank you, you for coming. Bye. Bye bye. See you. Uh, Mike, your your block is next. What are you doing? In about thirty minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out that new Bug Snacks DLC. I got it all set up. It, it's ready to run. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do about like I'm gonna see like five hours till 11:30 Eastern, and then at 11:30 Eastern, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna raid Joel, and Joel is gonna do uh, something. I don't I don't again I don't know exactly what. Yeah, it, it, I don't maybe, think he maybe, said right. Maybe Geo Guest. I'm hoping I could do a couple duels with him, but we'll see how the night turns out. No promises on anything like that. Um, but yeah, the, but the bug snacks is definitely going to happen. Uh, so do you want to bounce so you can get some food in you before your block? I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to go eat like kind of fast. Sure. Uh, and maybe like, maybe, you know, just freshen up or what have you. And then I'll try to come back as soon as I can. That way you're not, I mean, the three of you can just kind of do some stuff for, you know, like you, you, you could, you could do there's other games and stuff, we right? Could, we could do for the next know. thirty minutes. Yeah, you guys, you guys are, you guys yeah. are cool to do that. Yeah, I think that will be fine. All right, sweet. Yeah. Okay. So well, thank you uh, for I'll being you. here, man. Well, dude, thank you for having me, and, th- and thank you for being a part of this, bud. No worries. Been, uh, and thank you for inviting me to here. this. Uh, hit, hit me up when you're live, and I'll uh, I'll raid you. Well, I'll probably pop in here and say hey before. Okay, uh, that sounds perfect. Thank you. Right. I'll be back. All, all right. right. I'll cool. see you. See you all. See you all soon. See you soon. Does anyone remember how to play this game? Uh, we, I think, if no. someone in chat wants to tell us how many cards we start with, it's it's kind of self. Yeah, that's that's the main that. thing that I don't remember. Seven. Seven. Okay. Just just mass draw it to everybody here. Uh, uh, Mike needs one, to leave. Two. Uh, four. Mike, not. Five, do six, we need to kick Mike? Seven. Yeah, I'll kick him. Uh, All right, there we go. And then we d- we just decide who goes first. Yeah, we'll King go King off pick. That. Okay. It's you. Cool. All right. Uh, and then we draw one off the top, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, cool. We'll go with, uh, this fella. Okay. So you can either now, do the color or the number. What if, what if I have a special looking card? 
Okay, so there's there's one that's got like all of the colors, and that can you can say what it's switching to, and then uh, the there are some that are like plus two or whatever or. Uh, so if I place this card, uh huh, what does that mean? So you would pick the color, and then I would draw four, unless if I can follow that up with another one. I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose yellow. Okay. Uh, so I don't have one that can make that not happen. So I have to draw the four. I okay. think that's right. I think I, one, yeah, two, I think yeah. Three, four, and then um, I'm gonna go with this one. Are you using the stacking rule? I like the stacking rule. I think it's fun. What stacking rule? Where if I had one of those or like a plus two or whatever that was yellow, oh, I could, it would pass you and mm. you'd be drawing six gotcha. unless if you could keep it going. So if I can't play anything, I just draw then. Right. You keep drawing until me. you can. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Understood. Okay. I don't remember what that means. Chat. <laughs> How the fuck do you play this game? <laughs> You just draw one card and pass. I skip my turn. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, it well, skips Zot's turn. It skips Rev's turn. It skips my turn. Well, I played Rev it. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now um, it's Gear's turn. I don't like that. So I'm gonna reverse it back to Rev. Okay. And then we can just skip Zot's turn. Go. Right. Oh. <laughs> Play five. Uh, then that's. Yeah. Yeah. Rev's turn then <laughs> again, right? Uh. I'm a little concerned about how few cards you got. Uh, we need to fuck over gear. You know this, right? Here, have two I'm extra cards so you can uh, have something. But we reversed this. Is that draws? Yeah, so yeah, I, you I fucked know. me over. But that's yeah. cool. Whatever. Well, then you'll that's have extra fine. cards that you can use to, to fuck them over with. Yeah, clearly, clearly, clearly. Um, I can't play shit. I think the rule is I just I get skipped after that. I don't I don't play, so it just goes. I think to the you next keep person. drawing until you can play. God, that sounds that sounds cruel, but that's fine. We'll play that that rule since we started it that way. Okay, it is a keep drawing. Fine, I'm, I'm not mad. It to yellow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna change it to green. Okay. I'm I'm gonna play this this eight here. Uh, Uno. Shit. Is that what it? happens when I invoke Uno? Anything? Yes, it is. Uh, do something. <laughs> to me, thanks. Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, I could do something. Uh, there you go. Is there uh, a color associated with that? Yeah, I'm gonna pick blue. All right. So just take the whole pile. Oh, my pile. Wait, did I? Yeah, <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Uh, I pick, well, I pull this off the bottom. Okay. Somehow. I still don't get the nuance between pulling off the bottom. And it's one. uh, you click right click and, and draw. It, left click and draw real fast. If you do it slow, like if you click Let's and hold, it. then it'll just pick up the gotcha. deck. Why is it rotating the weird angle? Um, you said it was is what color? It's blue. You're only supposed to draw one card if you can't play anything. Okay. Uh, we, we've already been played by the other yeah, rules, the, but... Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, really? I don't think that anyone cares that we're not playing this, like, 100% by the book. Someone's got to sue. Okay. Red. What color are we um, going? Red. Red. All right. Sound effect. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's my new turn. Rev. Uh, yeah. Hardcore attention here. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, blue. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we keep going. Fuck you. And we're playing by the original rules that we set. Right, yeah. So I'm, gonna keep, I'm trooping this, but this is bullshit. All right. Hmm. Okay. Got two. Oh, it's me now? Yes. No, it's not. It's you now. No, why would you do that? <laughs> I'm assuming he doesn't have a yellow. That's why. Okay. Oop. Uh, no, I still don't have a yellow. See, I know what I'm doing. Shit, dude. with all the you with all the cards over. in my hands. Yeah. See, fuck you. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Heart of the Uno cards. <laughs> Reverse it back to you. Oh yeah, you want to play like that? That, that <laughs> affects me, <laughs> asshole. I know, because you're the you're doing the new target. Come on. <laughs> uh, you go again. No, you. No, that skips <laughs> that skips gear. So it's my turn. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the silence is deafening. It's so, dude. This is this is a real game for real men. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I played a reversey, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah okay, that's it's, right. Yeah, yeah, we're right there. Right, right. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Uh. Why this? <laughs> Why? 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 Oh no. No gear. Zot. <sighs> Fucking hate this game. <laughs> right? Ah, y'all suck. God damn. Oh, God damn. <laughs> God damn it. Welcome back to the bottom. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Bottom of the bucket. Mm. This is These are hellish rules we've put upon ourselves. Yes. Is that me again? Yeah. Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> God, fuck you! Yeah. Oh, thank God. Uh, I choose uh, blue. Cool. Um, it can be your turn again. Thanks. Oh, you bastard, man. <laughs> See what we got. Okay. Oh. Mm. This game's got a stalemate. I can I can sense it. Mm. We just need to like stall out for like twenty minutes. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. 
We've heard the word Uno once. We heard it once. And yeah. Then we, we, and then we he was punished to for the it. Shadow Realm. Yeah. I think that means I win if we uh, tell me. <laughs> that you came yeah, close to just, just making shit up on the fly. Yeah, I see yeah. how it goes here. That's, uh, that's red. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Okay. That's you. Draw two. That's, yeah, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though I'm mad at you. <laughs> oh. It's hot. Yeah, I can what? I blame you. I can only blame you yeah, for that. Yeah, I, I got my own land to take care of over here in the Uno world, all right? I can do this, right? Yeah. Yeah. As I right, cool. read. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who the fuck's playing now? I am. <laughs> oh, it's back Here to me. It's, I... Yeah, Shit. it's on you. Ah, uh, green. Oh, goddamn, goddamn. the patricians game oh my god Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Ah, oh, you fucker. Oh no. Oh no. I'm out. Can't play. Alright, I had the least amount of cards, so I think I won. Uh I have also five. <laughs> Shh. Okay. Uh, I shuffled the I dice. It's on the I, I can. Oh yeah, you're right. I can keep pulling now. Thank you, you you're kind welcome. soul. I didn't mean to do what that. Can you fix that? Yeah, I did, <laughs> I did a split. I split it. I did not mean to. Sorry. Uh yeah. Too late now. Well, I could have played something else. You've seen the know. card you've been throwing. Uh, oh, help. yeah, thanks, Uno? my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Here, if I could tell it uh, to just like mind read you what you need to play right now to continue this yeah. stupid ass game. DM it to me. <laughs> just DM it to you. Oh, okay. Thank you. So kind of you to give me the card I didn't need. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> It's fine. Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh. This is intense. Can we mathematically win? I mean, I guess we could. I don't... I mean, yeah, we could, but the chances based on the rules we have set up are so, I, so much lower now. I feel like we've probably set up uh, the wrong rules. Green. Oh, thank God. Is that to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think. Shit. 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 Welcome to the bottom of the hole. Uh... Sacking plus infinite draws. For the, no, the no sadist in all of us. Yeah, we're, so we're not allowed to stack multiple of the same color in a row, right? We are. Stacking means that if uh, you play a plus two, I can play a plus two and skip it over to gear instead. But could I invariably place a card in one move? Could I place multiple cards in one no, turn? No, no. No, no. Okay. This is I, a Sisyphean uh, rule set of... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this is more like... Yeah, I, yeah. I figure... Yeah, this is my turn, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
red. No, you. you. Well, you got. <clears throat> no, you still got to draw your you... four. <laughs> Damn it! I was hoping I can make you draw the four. Okay. Thanks, You're guys. Welcome, Gear. It's your go. Uh, seven. Oh, it's my turn again. Seven. Yeah. Well, I, I don't give a shit. No, there's no, there's no friends in this game. So let's just keep doing this dance. Oh. Yeah, take two. No, no this is the stacking the thing that we were talking oh, about. So unless I, I've got oh, a plus that's... two, I'm gonna have to draw four. Oh, I understand. Oh. One, two, oh. three, four. Shit. So like that's answering. That's like the response. I see. Yeah. There you go. Draw two more. Okay. Unless if you have a plus two. No, you're right. You're right. Why did we use this hell rule set? Now I understand why Uno games kind of just ends. went into it, bro. Like, yeah. Oh, right. It's we'll my just... go. Uh... What the fuck? So that's, is that B then? Yeah. Is yeah that... you. <laughs> Who is turn is it? Who is on first? Who is turn? Yeah, just fuck it, you know? You bastard, man. You didn't know what you were doing. Or did I? I pulled an extra card I didn't mean to. Oh well, I'll take I'll take the handicap. I don't like that. I thought I had you dead to rights. Green. Thank you. No, 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 it's my turn. No, it's not right? turn. Oh. Now I know what you got. Yeah, you do. Like, it'll matter. It's your turn again. You're right. <laughs> You're so right, it is. In this. Who knows? Yes, say Uno too. Yeah. You're we got dual dual Unos. Uno. You're right. <sighs> Green. The fuck, man. <laughs> what you gotta do? <sighs> Red. You, you gotta draw four, my dude. Me? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just two more. There you go. I already placed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, we're good. I was gonna play that anyway. Okay. Zot. Uno. Good. Oh wow! Holy crap! Holy shit! The game ends. <laughs> <laughs> we somehow <laughs> we we broke the curse. <laughs> it's like. It's like we're free. All right, I got us another game. <laughs> oh, oh boy. hell yeah! Legally I've never played Candle Land. Land. All right, yeah. it's it's pretty straightforward, but it's one of the most important ones. All right, so first off, we gotta pick our colors. Pick your color. Double sixes. I'm picking black. Blue. All right. Uh, dice are just to figure out who's going first. So. Uh, here, everyone roll a die. Uh, press R a bunch of times, then it'll fly up in the air. Okay. I got a six. Whoever rolled that is going first. That was first. me. All right, it's cool. Me. We get rid of the dice now. Draw a card. Okay. Show it to everyone. Okay. Red. You go to the first red space, which is here. Very, very good. Right off the gate. Start. <laughs> All right. Uh, next is me, I guess. Going. Yeah. Okay. I had a three, so. 
Also red. Cool. Pog. <laughs> did, did, you, did we shuffle these? Hang on a second. <laughs> We're all the we're all the same page here. It's it's fine. Uh, I guess it's my turn then. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. Okay. Yeah, that's the whole gameplay loop. There's uh, there's nothing to this game. It kind of sucks. Yellow. So. Meh. Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> I just happening? got done shuffling it. What is happening? Oh yeah. So you go to the 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 gumdrop, which is uh. Yeah. No, it's that's a different gumdrop. Where the fuck? Where is it? Wait. I think it's this one. I think it's just a gumdrop pass, isn't it? No, it's like a jello mold anyway. I'm gonna have to look up the Candyland wiki for yeah. this information. Grandma not I think this is it. It's just the card is different. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's just that's accept right. that okay, as a, cool. is, is my turn now? Yeah. Uh, double pink. Uh, I go go two the pinks ahead. Pink. Yeah, the second yeah. pink. Where? There. Okay. Yeah. All right. Blue. Shit. Yeah. Hella. Green. All right. All right. The amount of Mr. Double. Mint stuff that has happened since the last time I played this with Mike. Okay. Rev. Yeah. Pink. It's like the magenta pink. Yeah. Oh, is that good or bad? It's uh, right there. That's actually pretty sick. It's pretty good. Speedrunner over here. Speedrunning yeah. it. Yeah. Until I get fucking candy cane when I'm like here. Yellow. Yeah. Well, here, just pink. I mean, Red. really, the, the illusion of any sort of, like, gameplay, you could just deal <laughs> the hands out, and then just whoever gets the end first with their hand. Is, yeah. Double. But... Red? Yeah, okay. Yeah, sort of salmon, yellow. I guess this is more. I mean, this is more for the kids for like color identification and whatnot. Apparently, it was can. made for kids with polio so they could experience joy. Are you making that shit up or is no? That like, apparently, that's real. Oh. Uh, another magenta Welcome. pink. Check this out. Right. I know. I saw a Grandma Nut, and then look at this dude right here. Yeah. Do you know how much weird fan art of there is of this dude? I don't doubt it. Yeah. Uh, me? Yeah. People simp hard for Mr. Mint. That's a completely different color. This? Yeah. That's. Oh wait. Are those two different colors? Uh, no. you know, the, these are this both yellow. Uh, Gear, Gear's also got a, you know. No, I do. That's why I'm asking. I have no idea. Um, this is, okay. These are both what I would define as yellow. This is, like, sunflower yellow, and this is, like, golden rod yellow. Highlighter yellow, yellow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I... All yellows are yellow? I, I would just call it yellow, because figuring out if there's a difference there, like, I... Yeah. Guess it's you, Rev. Oh, is it me time? Yeah. Uh, salmon. Oh. Waiting for you to get that that gingerbread man Yellow. and get yeah, fucked. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. I already got two of them. It's got a. It's any turn now. Blue. Oh my god. It's just Russian roulette with the deck. Yeah, basically. Double blue. Mister Mustard and Mister Piss. Is that the two colors? Yeah, that's sort of a that's a mustard there. Stuck in the licorice space. Oh, oh you got stuck oh. in the licorice. Lord Licorice is fucking with Gloppy. you. Gloppy got me. Pink. It's my turn. Yeah, I'll take that over fucking candy cane any day. All right, it's Rev's turn. There are two shades of yellow. Yes. Yeah, for some reason there are two shades of yellow. 
And they're nigh impossible to tell the difference between, so I'm just ignoring that. I don't think they mean for children to have, like, that acuity of color differentiation. I also think the scan of the board was done pretty poorly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a compressed color space or something weird. Like Yeah. So, trying to figure out what gear. exactly... Like, because this yeah. yellow is different than this yellow, but oh. vaguely... Gears just he's yeah. hacked. Oh. Candy canes oh, coming. Oh shit! How's it going, guys? Hey, man, doing good. I uh, I gotta give I gotta give you a heads up on something. Yeah. Uh, I'm having massive like technical difficulties here. Oh, rad. Um, I in other words, I, I tried to launch Bug Snacks the other day, and the Epic's Game Store wouldn't load my games library. Oh. So I had to uninstall and then reinstall the Epic Game Store app, which then allowed me to launch the game. And I said, okay, I'll be ready for the for, for tomorrow or the day after, whatever. And now I'm launching the, the app and my games are gone again. So I think I have to de uninstall and reinstall the Epic Games app again. That's fine. We can uh we can keep it going for a minute. Sounds yeah, on par with Epic uh, Games, yeah. Yeah, right. So that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna be working on this. I don't know if I'll be live at six any. I'm, I don't. I don't see this getting resolved in five minutes. So heads up. Uh, what, Understood. What's the ETA you think yeah. you got? I got no clue. I I got no clue. I I don't know. I I guess I I'll uninstall it again and reinstall it again. However long that takes, I suppose. So uh, that's where I'm at. I I so, like I tried to get in front of this and it just didn't matter. You know what I mean? It just didn't. It just didn't matter. So I'm. Yeah, I, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So that's where I'm at. I guess that's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna do just do what I what worked the other day, uninstalling it and reinstalling it again. So, Bug Snacks is on Steam, but I don't know if you can migrate your save. I'm also gonna be buying it again. You're, you're saying? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying it again. Well, I shouldn't have to. I mean, no. I'm looking at my I, I'm looking at my Epic Games library. It's just empty. My games aren't appearing. There's it's just there's not there's nothing there. Have you and tried nothing... logging out, and logging back in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's funny. Like the the store won't load. Like none of the thumbnails will load. If I, if I click on my little icon, I can't log out of Epic Games. So I. I'll be dealing with this. I just wanted to like yeah. yeah thank you for letting heads us up, no. That's that's what that's in the advance sitch. for yeah, sure. On, it, it sucks, but it is what it is. I it, tried to get ahead of it. It just didn't matter. So here we are. Thanks, Epic Games. I'll uh, I'll I'll come back when <laughs> I get it working. Did you know there's a feature in Epic Games Library that you can just hide your game library? Like what? Why purpose? Uh, that, are there titty games on it? Too. You can hide games. It, yeah, but on Steam you have like the whole library. It's a. It says Wait, the yeah, whole it's library. It's, it says checkbox hide game library. I mean, if you were a streamer and maybe didn't want to show your your thing, but then why even show it in the first place? But right, yeah. like it's a games but library. No friends. Hide the feature. Like hide the no friends. It's. It says. Hide game library checked. There's an option in Epic Games Launcher settings that will hide your game library. Checking this box removes all of the Epic Game Store elements from your launcher, including your game library and the store option itself. What? Why? But would you why? Do that? Maybe you're embarrassed about how much money you gave them. <laughs> it should be. Like, I got some games on my Steam library that I'm not happy that I have, but I don't really care, you know? You get stuck Was in there? It, yeah, hold up. Let me get a, <laughs> a different dice because, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, here, hold up. That's that's going to be too big as well. I got well, we can shrink them, though, can't we? Yeah, but I could also make the dice roller bigger. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to body, shrink it. Yeah, just keep shrinking it until it goes down. Uh oh. <laughs> Stuck in there. Stuck. Body. All right. Here, make it real small. Tell Mike that that could be the problem. Uh, uh, 
Jabroni. Uh, It's it's stopping on top. It's I think it's because the uh, the thing is actually the size that it says it is. Hold up, let me let me try loading it again, or a different dice roller. Uh, can someone let Mike know? Yeah, I'll um I'll share it in the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> You, we might just have to roll it old school. Here, let's just make it big again. Okay. Someone else. Uh, pick your colors, y'all. That could be blue. Yeah. 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 All right. Roll the die. Thought. See you go second. Oh, okay. Um, that's just R, and then, yeah. Okay. I feel like <laughs> well, you gotta press R know. a bunch. You get a better roll than that. Well, you don't and hold I, it. You just let go of it, and then you press R. I'm I'm very confused. Okay, don't click on it. Just hover over it and press R a bunch. Oh, I see. Okay. I yeah. Would, yeah. Okay. Three, right, so I guess. <laughs> I'm last again. Okay. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. Some body. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because we started at one. Yeah. Some body. Four. One, two, so three, be five. four. Some, some, some body. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some, 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 some. Two, three. Body. Some body. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Some body. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I think we got it out of order. <laughs> oh. Well, you went before me, but that it's fine. It, oh, it's just, it, what's I, the order? Was the reason? Okay. Yeah, you you went before me. Go ahead, Gear. Okay, I'm sorry. Here, whoever needs to go first, go ahead. It's it's it, it just it get, we've been staying in order this whole time, so Gear can go ahead. Somebody. Do I need to skip my turn or anything? No, no, we're fine. Okay. Somebody. One, two, three, four. <laughs> the dead Some silence. Body. One, two, three. Body. Body. One, two, three, four, five. Body. Body. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some body. Oh, for fuck's sake! One. Body. <laughs> One, two, three. Some, some body. One, two, three, four. I mean, there's not a lot of like. Oh, we can't really tell what's going on. No, you went on. the wrong direction. I went the wrong direction. What did I do? You gotta go. You gotta go this way. Body, 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 body. body. So is it my turn? Uh, I'm just going after two other people go. Does anyone give a shit about the rules? Uh, not in particular. Okay. What, okay, if I land... Okay, what... So, I could so take you the go ladder all the way up to there, yeah. Oh, okay. Speedrun strat. Not know what you're doing. Speedrun strat. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Mike will go live once he gets it uh, fixed. Is it my go? 
No, it's my turn. I was just make, I was just checking what Mike said in the messaging. Nice. Who knows? So if there's a snake, though. Yeah, if it's the head of the snake, then yeah. you go down all the way to where. Well, it fuck ends. me, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one, two, and three. Then you would go up, right? No, because it starts at 21. This game sucks. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, Milton Bradley, Bradley needs to figure their shit out. This is from like the 1900s or some shit. Dude. Yeah, it's it was like, meant to like teach you good morals I'm somehow. Just saying. Yeah, it's my turn, I guess. Two. One, two, three, four. Sure, I don't know. <laughs> no one will never know. It's a four. One, wait. One, two, three, four. Fuck! Me? Here? Yeah, it's you. Yeah. Uh, Epic Games is being shit. One, two, three. So you did a uh, VR chat the other day? Wait, no. They, they can't be... Okay, so Four. several things are wrong there. That's not your pawn, and you're going the wrong way. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're right. So you're, you're the green... One, no, you're two, the green one, no, right? No, I'm the green. No, I'm the blue one. So, I'm the blue guy. One. <laughs> Who just moved the blue one, then? I was the one. Okay. And I, I But I moved it wrong. You're right, but then... But someone moved what? it before that. Did did I? No, uh -huh. I didn't. It doesn't matter. What? It doesn't. <laughs> Keep going. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> if gear moved the blue, that's not on me. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's just advantages for you. Okay, so gear, go. <laughs> uh, no, it's your turn, no? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain is broken. The rules for this game are too hard. Six. Four adult men struggle to play a <laughs> children's two, board three, game four, from the 1800s. Five, six. <laughs> Somebody. 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 <laughs> Charged up body. Four. One, two, three, four. Wait. Am I moving backwards again? It's Fuck it, dude. I did. One. <laughs> It's me. Okay, Rev, it's you. One, two, three. See all okay, been streaming? Turn. Learn how to count. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it not my turn? No, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> I like how like lazy we're getting with just like just shit like fuck it whatever. Okay, uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Ah, I got snaked. Part of the snakes. Hey. Five. Hey. Five. Hey. One. Two. I mean, I. You get it? I reinstalled the. No, I mean, I reinstalled the app, and now they're having me reinstall Bug Snacks, which is a bad sign because I had it, didn't have to reinstall it the other day. Uh... So somehow this somehow this time. The game got uninstalled, which is which is making me assume that I don't have my save data anymore, meaning I won't be able to do the DLC. Do they not do cloud saves on EGS? Well, I'm about to find out as soon as this is done installing. Um, I think that this uh, EGS can uh, eat my ass. I'm very unhappy with with this, guys. Um, EGS I has cloud saves now. I, I will tell I don't care what game it is or how bad I want to play it. I will never, ever, ever use this service again or patronize these people ever again. This is 
beyond garbage. This is a simple app for launching games and it cannot function correctly. And the only reason I'm not already playing this is because this app is garbage. Yeah. It's not the game's fault. It's it's the the I, I can't believe no de no developer should partner with these people. This is beyond garbage. This is inexcusable how trash this is. Free games are the only reason to use it? I, even then. Even then. Joel uh, lost progress on Bug Snacks because of EGS. I'll tell you what. Out of so, a, an, a, an abundance of caution that this app was going to do something like this to me, I actually went into the files and I saved my save file. Smart. I have it on my desktop. So if this thing did delete my save file, I can retrieve it. I just need to know where to put the file in the, in the program uh, files. I'm sure it's Check. probably wherever you got it from, but I would slash save game slash bug snacks is what i'm seeing in, in your user profile so um mike slash user uh, save game slash bug snacks is what i'm seeing but who knows mike finally did something smart <laughs> uh we got uh, it's at like 95 percent what's really frustrating is that i did all this already because i knew this app was going to be like this and it just did it just didn't matter here i am day of doing it again like that's really that's streaming in a nutshell though awesome. like you make sure That's it works really cool. and you're like okay it'll be fine and then you do it and then it's not and then it just still don't work yeah, yeah. we're keeping it going chat's yeah, enjoying um, some snake and ladders yeah keep keep um doing what you're doing i'm just gonna hang out in here and and, and bitch fine. is it okay if i just say sit in here and bitch yeah yeah, yeah. Right. i linked you um what PC Gaming Wiki says location of the save. So. Thank you for doing that. I'm gonna find out if I even have to do it, and if I do, I'll 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 use that. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't touch that when it installs the game. But who knows? well, dude, I I you know, and I was like, how do you start the DLC? I found an article. They were like, you want to go here and talk to this character, and he should say this. I had it all ready to go. The character was like, oh, you ready to start the DLC? And I was like, haha, yep. But I'll do it the I'll I'll do it two days from now. You know, and then this had to happen. So. Uh, like, I mean, I, it was all ready to go, like, up until that step. Like, am I going to be course. able to even play the DLC? Yes. And this still happened to me. And I'm wondering what I'm going to do if I continue this playthrough. Because I was planning on, you know, checking it out beyond tonight. Am I going to have to uninstall and reinstall the, Rev. the app oh, oh. every time I want to play this game? Rev, you were on a ladder, by the way. Oh. Wee. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if you, you can launch it without Epic. Some, some I, I mm, don't know about that. Uh, okay, so here's here's a fun thing I'm getting. Maybe you can help. We've detected a cloud sync conflict. Which file would oh, you like God. to use to store your game data? And there's a file from 2020, and there's a file from today. I would use, I mean, uh, did you put the file, do you have a backup copy of the file, the save file you made? I have the one on the desktop. Okay. Uh, then do the, the one from today. And if it, wait, I don't know. Chat, what do you think? Make sure you have a separate copy just in case. Oh, if I you do. Have, you have a known oh, good do. copy on your desktop? I do. Then go for the, whichever one is most recent. So today. And if that doesn't right. work out. Then you then can fix it. it, yeah. Right. Thank you. Is it me? Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Does anyone give a shit about this game? One, two, three, four, five. I, I've just come to help you, right? Like, yeah, like we have like to finish it. Already and... <laughs> Is it my turn? I think so. I've been going after you, but... I also haven't been paying attention. Save the planet from the snakes and the ladders and, you know. Uh. All right, I got it working. Okay, it, cool. It's loaded the save. So, I mean, is it going to be is it going to be cool in, in the future? I, I don't know, but um, I'll let you finish up your snakes and ladders before I, I steal everybody. From wow, me. you've um, done that so incredibly wrong. I don't know where to start. Uh, Rev, just just roll a three. Okay. Somebody. A four oh, is fine God. too, right? <laughs> That's not the God. We're, we're freed. We're, we're free. free from it's this. over. All right, Mike's live now. Um, Mike, let me know when you go live, and I'll I'll raid you. 
he'll be live in like one uh one second um yeah like literally one second well, um, I just want to say thanks, Rev, for uh, having us join me here. Hey, this. no worries. Thank you guys for uh, being here. Thank you, Mike, as well, for being here. Um, I hope you guys yeah. enjoyed our, our board game stream. Uh, there are some other ones that I really wanted to get to, but I was like, I don't want to try and explain these rules this early in the morning to people when I barely remember <laughs> them myself. But uh, if you guys enjoy this, like, badger all of us to do it again, so we'll do it again. Like, even outside of charity, I don't care. I'll hang out with these nerds. Like, that sounds great, man. Uh, I'd Guys. love to do Mysterium. I'd love to do um, At the Mouth of Madness. Uh, I think those would be good. Warhammer Threesome, yeah. Uh, I think Mike has said that uh, he'd rather go to hell. Um, I'd rather flatten my penis uh -huh. with a... Uh, uh, what, what's the thing that you need dough with? What, what is that? A rolling uh, pin. A rolling pin. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather use a rolling pin on my own dick. Yeah, Twilight work. Imperium, so it can be completely obtuse for people. Um, sure. Uh, hey, we're doing a charity thing. Let's talk about that for a second while you're you're getting set up to, to go live, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so we're raising money for uh, drug relief, Ukraine. If you want to donate, I'm going to go ahead and get Mubot to do it. Donate. There's the, the link that Mubot just did. It goes directly to refugees who are escaping the conflict zone there. If you want to help and you're able to, uh, anything helps. Uh, a majority of the donations are like 5 to 20 bucks. So, like, don't don't worry about if you're not throwing all of the money in the world. I know it's sexy to throw, like, $100 out of it. But, like, again, like, we didn't reach uh, 26000 on, you know, big $1,000 donations. We, we reached that through... The, the smaller donations. So just donate that's what you right. can. If you're not able to donate, that's totally chill. Uh, just tell people about it. Uh, hang out and chat. Make it so that way our view numbers are high so people come by and be like, hey, what's up? Uh, the, the money goes directly to refugees. It's not going to the government. It's going to uh, people who need medical and food aid, that kind of stuff, not you know bombs and guns so don't worry about that we're, we're trying to make things that are bad less bad for some people who've had to deal with some bad stuff that's uh, a good point that you made too uh even just just being there for the streams is actually helping in a way because for sure um yeah that's how twitch works people see yeah uh you, you know i'm sure there's the, at the least algorithm, two people whatever, in chat we'll, right we'll, now that have showed you know, up people, for it, chat makes, because it increases it. the visibility of the stream mm -hmm. where somebody else who comes might be able to donate so literally you just watching actually helps in that way yeah right so guys so, thank you so much thank you guys so out. much for uh doing this uh, and hey uh zot and yeah. gear guys thank mm -hmm. you for being a part of this yeah thank you guys yeah. Yeah. No problem, guys. really cool um, um, I'm gonna bounce. Actually, I got some things I gotta take care of. But, oh yeah, uh, again, no, we're we're, we're done in there, dreams, man. I <laughs> might I might be able to show up for uh, the Mario Kart session tomorrow. I'm not sure, but right. uh, either oh. way, it's been a it's been a pleasure. I'm glad to do these charity events in in whatever format I'm I'm capable of. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna bounce. All right, y'all have a good one. All right. I'll be All right, watching. Good night, dude. You have a good See one, man. Yep. See ya. No, 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 no pressure. If you can show up, cool. If not, that's cool too. Absolutely. See ya. Bye. All right. No press, no press. Uh, all right, let me pull the cord on this bug snacks thing. Yeah, let me know when you're live. I'm live. I've been okay, live. cool. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop stream, and I'm gonna rate him. You can just go there. Uh, alternatively, if you'd prefer, but either way, you're being sent there. So, bye, y'all. Have a good stream, man. Thanks, bud. See you soon.